Okay, how are we doing out there first? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the in technology gain. So, he's talking to a customer about uh, some projector he purchased and about, uh, some projector he purchased and projector. Values, uh, knockoff projectors, and they want to, um, they want to, um, they, uh, they want to keep their projector, but you know, I really don't feel comfortable upgrading to a new projector and so forth. And I bump into so many of these knockoff projectors, well, that'll never work because their lumen counts are too low, and it couldn't be uh, blue because. Um, blues just don't react to those particular projectors. So it would have to be something in a gray category. Not black silver. Black silver would probably pick up one of the more higher end of those cheaper projectors. Where's my stand at? But it wouldn't pick up on a, um, mostly they're near white screens. Where the freak is my stand at? I go through my whole house looking for my stand. Can't find it. Now, I'm going to use just a test. This is just something to throw out there just to see what's going to happen. Nothing big will probably become of it. But just out of curiosity, that's all. As soon as I can track down wearing tarnations, I just stuck my stand, which I need. And I'm thinking, oh, could we construct one? Could we make something to make them look a little better than what they look? Cause, so, we'll see. What happens? Maybe we'll kick around, we'll play around with this. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. If we can make a knockoff projector look good. If it'd be a personal challenge, it'd be kind of cool to see if we could, but we'll see. All right. So first things first, before people say, well, that looks a lot like a solution. Like, first of all, there is so many different forms of light gray screen paint out there. It's not even funny. But we got to make ours a little different. See, ours have a different kind of texture to it like a different kind of texture to it. So let's see, it's like I said, this is all for kicks and giggles to see exactly if it can be done. If we can basically make a screen paint that'll make this thing look somewhat decent. So, let's begin. Uh, somebody bring it to my attention, like, well, what about us? What about us people who get these projectors? And, you know, again, I understand projectors can be expensive, but keep in mind, you can buy a cheap uh, name brand projector for the price of what you would pay for one of these projectors that have fake bells and no 4k out of any of those projectors at all yeah let's see what happens let's we'll paint some of this it's a very very thick solution which i made here so i don't know We'll play around with it, see what we get out of it. I'm not at all giddy about it. I mean, literally, I could design something to make one of these projectors look amazing, but I'm going to see exactly if we uh, if we do a gray paint. I don't like doing this. I'll tell you right now, my airy bean is against this altogether because I don't mess around with these colors like this. This is, uh, this is easy stuff. This is not a challenge at all. But, you know, like I said, it's for one of these projectors. So, might as well. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's put some of this thick, thick solution out. We'll do some of this. This stuff is like peanut butter. It's kind of thick, ain't it? It's real thick. It's like Chewy Mother's Chewy Chiff. It's real thick. Why well, can I make it that thick? I don't know. Got to get off to see what would happen. I've never seen a real thick screen paint like peanut butter, man. Ugh. I don't know. 
Let me stop wasting your time. We don't work with that kind of paint. We can with stuff. garbage. Kind of tough stuff. That's the stuff we work with. It's going to do the same thing. Contrast, I was going to go like crazy on it. Because it can't pick up. It, can't, it doesn't even work with our coating. All right. So let's get the cheap projector. Let's go over and get the black silver set up. I don't waste my time with that stuff. Really thought I was gonna sit there and make a great screen paint like that. Come on, people. I'm making that mess, man. It looks like Play-Doh. I would never even make that stuff to begin with. It's not worth my time. Let's go get us up a knockoff projector. Uh, we're gonna run the Chromecast to the back of this one. And let's grab, um, let me see, let's grab, uh, blah, 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 blah. We need to grab a Chromecast. That's what we need. Something we can run through it. What do we got, what do we got here? What do we got here? Try to find something to run through this bad boy. Our phone's in the next room. Chromecast is God knows where. I never know I put my stuff up. Okay, we already had it. The black screens do not work. This one home. The black screens do not work with uh, cheap knockoff projectors. No, they don't. The blue, on the other hand, blue on a cheap, easily. Blue will pick up very easy on a cheap projector. Uh, we'll bring a blue screen out here too and do that too. Easy. But the black screens, the darker screens you want, cannot pick up on them. But a blue tech, the blue 15, yeah, can pick up on one of those projectors with no problem. Now, like I said, it's going to advance the picture quality by a little bit but not where it's going to take it to the next level as buying a real brand name projector. Now, if you use one of those Valve projectors, or X-Zoomy, whatever they call those projectors, yeah, that's going to pick up on a blue like insane. I can't wait for that to be hit with a blue. But we're going to use this on a black silver, and we'll bring the blue up too. As a matter of fact, which one do you need to do? We need a black silver, blue, blue, black silver. I'll bring the other screen up too. All right. I Got everything we need now, people. As you can see, I never set up for anything. So, if you can tell, nothing's pre rehearsed because I kind of like run around this grab all my stuff. Now, this is a projector I paid $95 for. I got it on eBay for $95. I just did it already. Uh, it's supposed to have 15,000 lumens or something on it. That's what it's supposed to be. To go into our little selection here. Chromecast is going to have to. See? I 
black silver can pick up. They can. can pick up on them. Blues, even more. But let's pull that back a little bit. Get our screen a little bit. Pretty sure you want to see a little. 120. No, you can't do it. No. no. You can't pull back. It's like one of these big screens in here. That's not going to happen. This projector does not have that capability. But the quality in a fully lit environment with it, with no problem, it's basically going to clean it up so it doesn't look so blurry. work with me. Every time you bring a projector out, you gotta adjust that focus a little more. Think of having your hair instead of a warning voice. Yeah, no, I'm not going to use ever. Never, I used to make scratch. It was exact that color. No, that's all that. Let's get a fire stick then. Take this out. Get a fire stick. That's one of the things I do love about the fire stick. It does not require your cell phone to use to run any form of feed through. You can just run it right through the fire stick and be done. Turn itself off. Put it back on. So we boot the fire stick. Oh, you really thought I was gonna use a gray screen? Like why? Why would I use a light gray screen for what? Okay, let me see. The survey a bit blurry right there we are a bit blurry and yeah, definitely squeeze that commercial in there with the lights on. Then we'll take it off the lights off. Most of you're going to be using these projectors will be in the dark. Like I said, the lumen counter projectors are ugh. Even with the lights on there, ugh. But let's come over here and let's bring in a, let's see if I got the right one. Bringing something, I'm looking for something here. It's not what I want. Somebody's hitting me up real quick on a bunch of things right now. Let's take this out. Let's clear this. How's this a 15,000 to 1 projector? I mean, how's this a 15,000 to 1 projector? That's a Starfield demonstration on the projector right there. That's a demonstration on a Starfield demonstration with the lights off on a knockoff. It's a black, remember, this is a black silver screen. It's gray. 
told you it has the ability to be of the poor contrast level because there's a code in it that allows us to read black levels. That's why the screen's so dark now. This is what personal mix looks like. So if someone tells you you want to go with a lighter gray screen paint because you're going to be able to pick up the images and colors better, no, you're not. You can't even pick up contrast. This projector has no contrast rating. It's a knockoff. It has no contrast rating whatsoever. But a black silver screen has the ability to pull contrast levels, something that these other screens can't do. Gray screen, so-called gray screens. You like gray screen paint mixes. That's why I would never touch this stuff in a million years. I wouldn't make any more gray, light gray mixes enough you can pay me to. What's the point? Our coding technology couldn't do anything with it. So you're watching a screen that's called the Black Silver. You've seen how gray that screen looks. They're very gray. You're watching that screen right there pull a contrast level star field on a knockoff projector next to the personal mix. Now, mind you, in my challenge, I asked them, even with this black silver, I did ask anyone, anyone who develops this kind of paint, to do a contrast demonstration in a fully lit environment. We're doing it right here in a fully lit environment. We're using a knockoff projector, screen is displaying a star field demonstration, and it's doing it with no problem whatsoever. You know why? Because any gray screen paint this complexion will always react the same way. Even the Cinemax react the same way that's why when i took when i saw that i said hey do me a favor do me a challenge one day challenge show off that cinemax technology and a starfield demonstration fully lit environment he displayed the contrast level tried to display the contrast levels on the screen while the environment was dark showing off shades of gray smoke and mirrors people that's the smoke and mirrors trick Now my blue was sitting there in a bunch of windows displaying contrast. Start for demonstration, no problem whatsoever. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Most people have these screens, have them on white screens. So if you got a white screen, you got this projector, bam, this is what you're gonna get right there. There you go. Parallax. Parallax. Am I saying that correctly? Parallax. Parallax. A little dark screen right there. The reflective material is kind of funny. a screen that's gray is picking up a contrast level darker than a screen that's darker than it. That's your business. The fellow who made the company from the company, uh, what was that screen called? Um, What was that company? What was that company? Oh, HD screen paints. HD screen paints. So over here we have we have a Dark Star Nine. Look how dark that surface is by Elite Screens. Let's see. We we'll take close personal mix. Put this over here. Let's put this over here like so. You know why it's not picking up a contrast level? Because it doesn't have coding technology. Your screens have that. The screen's darker than my screen. We'll put crows back up. Uh, this is a fellow, no, 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 it's a him yet. This is the guy we bought the paint from for $30. This is the HD gray screen paint. Take crows off, get that out of the way. This one up here. 
you know. That's this HD gray screen paint. This is Crow's paint next to his. I asked a question that gray screen, you gotta put multiple gray screens up. So you can tell which gray screen produces the better contrast level. I think I can't go any lower than using an alcohol projector here. You see how black that technology looks on the screen? That's a gray screen. You ever seen me paint one of those screens out? They're gray. So how is that screen being gray producing a level that black? Look at it next to the black technology over here. All right. What color is it now? It's gray. It's a gray screen. No magic. No abracadabra. It's a gray screen. It just has a code in it that allows it to see contrast. That's why that screen looks that jet black. See how great? But it looks just almost as dark as this screen, doesn't it? Now, you know what's interesting? This is a great screen, right? Now some people may say, okay, well, it's a great screen and because you have it sitting this way, that's the reason why the screen is so dark. Well, if that's the case, that means Crow's Personal Mix should do the same thing because it's great, right? It should pull dark contrast level like the screen just did, right? But it doesn't. It remains gray. The HG screen paint remains the color. The Dark Star 9, as dark as it is, remains not having the ability to read contrast. The white sheet of paper always remains white. That screen now looks as dark as the screen sitting right next to it. My black cell phone. Maybe we'll see if we put the cell phone against it. So we can see the color of it. Now you see the color of it? Now it's dark gray. But when you looked at it, it was black. But when I put it in the kitchen, it's gray. So what color is it? And one person thought it had a chameleon paint to it. Well, if it had a chameleon paint, we know how chame chameleon paint works. It works on basically the reflection of how you look at a vehicle and how it's painted on. It changes different colors. That's the same paint that I shook up in the container. It had that funny color to it when the light hit it. Somebody thought it was chameleon paint. Now, chameleon paint, if you take it out and you paint it on something, it becomes that chameleon paint. You can move it around. It has reflective colors. But if you look at that screen up close and I showed you it was gray, nothing changes in it. There's no crystal response, no glitter response, nothing at all. Oh, you can't see the code. It's virtually impossible. But look what it does to a knockoff projector. So to a knockoff projector that has no contrast capability, that screen allowed that projector to have a contrast reading off a gray screen when all the other screens are just giving you this washed out image. The knockoff free paint that you can make from Crows on the website, which you not website, but a YouTube channel, he shows you how to make for free. It's the free paint right there. That's just mix. Personal mix. It's the white sheet of paper.
Now, oopsie, bumped the daylights out of my projector. There we go. Pause there for a minute. Okay, so when you look at this, look real carefully. We don't have a high power projector, so you can see through all the bull. Right here, that is a personal mix. That's the mix I made online. That's the HD Pro screen paint that I purchased from the fellow off of YouTube. Now, eBay, sorry about that. That's a white sheet of paper. This and this look together, and that and that looks almost done together. But look at our technology. Even the background behind the screen that's not even being hit with the projector is showing a black level that's higher than these screens. No. As in, do we have a screen paint? Answer your question for a knockoff projector. A black silver can produce on a knockoff screen. That, is your, that answers your question right there. It can. If you're using one of the more modern ones, like the Valve, oh, heck yeah. The free. Yes. Not a black technology. No. Never pick up on that screen. But a, um, but a, what's my call yeah, One of the, the, um, the black silvers, they pick up on projectors of 800 to 1,000 lumens. They're designed for that. I just don't do a lot of demonstrations on them. There we are, displaying blue. Yeah, you want to hear something really interesting? And like I said, some people have have to have dementia. They have to have like some more form of memory loss. When a certain individual was showing off our black, anytime you take our black technology, any dark screens we developed, you put that against a white screen. This is basic common sense that the black, white, any white surface is going to show a higher white level than any dark surface. Just basic common sense. But for some reason, particular individuals feel like this is all new and no one knows about this. Good gracious, Mike. I gotta, I gotta consider how people, how people seriously, do they drive? Anyway, so if I were to take the HD mix and I were to put that against a white screen, which one do you think would produce the higher white level? Because for some reason, in somebody's particular world, they believe that there's all his screen paints produce high white levels. And that's not true. Because any screen that's going to be darker than a white screen, the white screen will always produce a higher white level. Let's take off our knockoff here and here and here. I'll add some more in the title. Always add more. Let's get our, our confusions of all confusions here. My reason a projector doesn't have any form of whatsoever it is pretty much trash all right so i keep in mind anybody who watches any of my demonstrations you all know for a fact that I never do anything on schedule. I'm always doing something different. That's the crazy thing about my demonstrations. 
I can be talking about one thing and then boom, we just end up someplace else. But at the end of the day, you either learn something or you don't. Now, remember the demonstration that usually what most people like to do against their black technology is they like to say, hey, look, look how high the white levels are and look how dark it is on his. So, what would happen if we were to take his UV mix and put it next to the free screen paint that he makes online? screen would be inappropriate for this one. Oh, wait a minute. How would I see what I'm doing? Oh, don't worry. In the end, we're going to put the blue screen against the knockoff projector. That's a treat in the end. I got the blue screen over here against the wall, so we're going to take that and put that against the knockoff projector because I got to see what that looks like. But anyway, so let's go over here. Come out of this. Let's bring up an all-white snowstorm. Let's bring up the color white, all-white do that we don't want to camouflage anything so let's go with uh all white 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 10 hours of a white screen that'll work all right now we got 10 hours of a white screen let that run right there Woo! okay move the other way This is his free mix he makes online. It shows you how to make for free. That's the free one you can make online. This right here is his UV mix, which is a darker mix. Let's see if it's possible. His UV mix can pull the same high white level as the white screen, as his own screen mate, screen paint, screen mate. That's funny. Let's see what happens. Just basic common sense. That's pretty much what it is. See, when somebody takes our black technology, of course it's a black screen, but as you can see on the demonstration, if it was so dark, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. It'd be pitch black, no one can see it. But you can see it. You can see it crystal clear. As a matter of fact, you can see it crystal clear when it's sitting next to a white screen. You can see it crystal clear. And as we say in our demonstrations, you know, you can't compare the technology to a black screen because a white screen will always produce a higher white level. And that is true. If you go to our website, it clearly says at the bottom that white levels would be a bit low, but nothing that would actually alter or change your picture quality. And you see that in my demonstration, especially with the screen I painted on yesterday, which was fantastic. All right. Okay, I'm being a little arrogant here. I do apologize. So let's back it up here. So anyway, by him basically constantly doing all the Cinemax, the personal mix, all these different screen paints against my black screen and saying, oh, well, look how dark it is. Well, buddy, guess what? Your UV mix, which is a dark screen paint, actually produces a very, very, very dark level next to the free screen paint that you give away online. Even next to your personal mix, which I have right here. If we were to put them side by side and show up, if you want to go at white levels and which ones produce the better white levels. It's interesting that your personal mix looks exactly like the free mix you give away online. This one, $104, this one is free. This one is your UV mix that you have. Now, since you wanna go in by talking about skin tones and this, that, and the other, let's see what happens if we put it on skin tones. Let's go over to the Sky War. Okay, so one right there. Hmm, let me see. Let's clear this out right here. Let's go over to, see, you're gonna constantly say over and over again, well, it's so dark, you can't see it. You make a dark screen paint, buddy. It's a UV mix. And you also make that cinema black. You should put that against one of your gray screens, see how the white levels come up. But you don't do that, but I'll do it for you. 
Uh, let's go over to see what the skin tones are going to look like on this one. I'd rather I just had my cell phone because my cell phone has everything on there. And then we're going to go back and show the knockoff project on the blue screen, which, you know, I know you're waiting to see that one. Because that one was designed. That blue screen technology, we had in mind for those of you who get those knockoff projectors as gifts and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You don't want to throw it away or anything. You do want to use it, right? You know? So, you know, I'm not really happy about companies that do this. But there's so many of them. really can't stop them. And I'm just one person. So, like I say, when it comes to crazy things and technology, you either go with it or get crushed by it. But, eh. All right. See if we can bring this lady up. We got a couple of the demonstrations on here. Yeah, we got to bring her up. We got to get rid of the first as demonstration because it's just bringing up people who cook. So we're just gonna go in here for a minute. We're gonna go into the search. You know, it's Sunday. I downloaded a whole bunch of games off of Steam. I got some really good arcade games, and I mean for cheap, like for two and three dollars for my system to do some arcade games on. And I can't wait. And I'm down here doing this when I should be upstairs doing that. Yeah, but I do like what I do, though. Can't complain about it. The scenery changes. Every day is not the same thing. I'm always doing something crazy. Like right now, I got an idea of that invisible technology. I want to basically stick it into the fish tank, and I want to scan a Bioshock underwater in the fish tank. I wonder how that would look. Those of you who remember the Big Daddies? I'm going to scan a Big Daddy right in the fish tank, right through water. I'm doing that one today. All right, let's go with the 4K. Let's go with the 4K. We should have it now. There we go. Let's see how the skin tones go look on this one. You were saying, now mind you, here's the interesting thing about this all, people. When he tried to do this against our black technology and we did the exact same duplicate video he just did and was able to produce amazing skin tones on black technology versus his own gray screen. Yeah, I can blend that screen right there on my black screen. So I'm sure do the whole close up thing. There you go. That's Next looks like next to your cheap do-it-yourself screen paint that you can make for free and at the same time. So those of you who bought that paint, just let me know that's what you got. Let's finish playing. take his sample sheet and I stick it against my black screen over here and do the exact same demonstration someone's going to say well Ken that's not fair because you're using a knockoff projector here when your projector over there is 4300 lumens not a problem I'll take the 4300 lumens and I'll stick it on his screen too so that's just to show you when he tries to label our technology as being so dark that you can't even see it but his own technology well, has that problem also. Or, well, we don't have that problem. I'll show you why. <sighs> Let's go for the long version of this one.
Here, give you something to stare at for a minute. Let me check that out right there. Look at those skin tones. Oh, but keep in mind, even though this is his cheaper mix, this couldn't even pour a star fill contrast levels, no colors whatsoever, as you saw against the black silver. So you got one screen that can pull somewhat good contrast levels, and the other screen comes out too dark when it comes to white levels. And the screen that has too high of a white levels can't pick up pick blues or greens or reds because it fades and washes out. So where do you land at in all this? Well, you land with a very high-powered, expensive projector doing all the work. As we can see with the Ultra Short Throw. There you go. Give you a chance to stare at that for a minute. Take that in while we set up over here. demonstration you guys should breeze through that because keep in mind I can't just show off his I have to show mine off too so I can't just go over and say hey look it's just this so and so so that would be wrong for me to just sit there and just show only his stuff I gotta show my stuff too so you know like I said I'm not gonna miss out on this party all right let me go get this stuff right here I'm gonna finish letting this play through let's grab a video that'll play a little longer on that one because I got one that's actually pretty long it's actually, let me see if I can go a little farther down. Yeah, it's that one right there. There you go. Enjoy. seen this demonstration for the first time because he would never show you this demonstration at all period usually when he does his demonstration he would do the screen by itself he would never ever put any of these screen paints next to the screen because he knows how this is going to react so he knows how to separate which ones and show which ones together he would use the lighter screen paints with the lighter gray screen because that way you won't see too much of a difference of imperfection in the surface as you're seeing here now that's why that's the reason why he didn't want his product coming here because we would have tested everything on every level. I do it all the time. I take my black sewer and I throw it right against my screen all the time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right.
And see how dark that image looks? All right, this is what we're gonna do. Shut this baby down for a minute. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and bring the 4300 Lumen Christie projector. And maybe somebody can think there because this projection is not bright enough and so forth and so forth. Curl boys have a ton of excuses on everything. They do. They have it. They're, they're, the, they're the ultimate excuse makers. They have excuses on everything. Or maybe this, and maybe that, and maybe that. They should be like theorists. Uh, what do you call it? Conspiracy uh, uh, theorists. They should do that for a living. There we go. Let's bring down the big boy Christy right now. So we're bringing down. 4300 lumen projector. Let's see if that changes anything. Can we bring her all the way down. Maybe we can bring her down. There we go. Let's not remove control for this one. And let's see what we get when it comes to those white levels. Let's go with the food. I'm going to see those face. There you go. And by the way, like I said, that's the personal mix. That's the free mix I made online. They chose you how to make. Can you tell which one's which? Maybe if I lay a little flatter up for you. I've said this before. You ever heard a theory about the wagon? Your mother ever tell you about that? You ever heard the theory about the wagon? Where somebody basically sells you a wagon. They break into your backyard. They take the same wagon. They paint it a different color. And they take it someplace else. And they do that over and over and over again. You people got the wagon. Now, if you notice, if you look at our technology, we have a blue screen, we have a black screen, we have a gold screen, and we got a screen that looks like a really dark blue, but actually it's uh, kind of like the platinum, platinum eclipse. All our screens have different, different colors. Even the dark gray, when you look at that black silver, when we shake them up, they have that funny color that blends to the screen. They all have their different identity, they all have their different ways of doing things, but that's identically alike. And then for sit there and say that, you know, hey, look, you know, um, the black screens give out a dirty, dirty image. Look at your UV mix next to your own stuff. Now let's do something different here. Let's take this out. Ugh. I told you I'm not going to be. Come on now. When people do demonstrations against us, it's only our screen up there. You don't do that. It defeats the whole purpose of having, doing the demonstration. There you go. You all comfy? Right, sure we are. Let's start off with the food first, because that's what I did first. Must keep it honest. Sure not. I live for stuff like that. No idea. I don't have any fear here. You're not testing. My technology has to go through every day. Yeah, this is nothing. Now, keep in mind, if there was our technology, keep in mind, it should come up really, really dark. Really dark next to one of his uh, personal mixers, right? And just as dark as his uh, his UV mix came up to his own stuff, right? It should be. I think so.
shouldn't my screen be just as dark as that UP mix was displayed on his own screen? And mind you, wait a minute, we'll get a little closer. You see that my screen does not turn bar dark at all whatsoever. If it was so dark, you would see this really dark gray screen, wouldn't you? You don't see that, do you? Let's say we put the projector here and we burn it down, right? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Get back here for a minute. Let's pause it uh, right there. All right. And here we are from this distance. My screen's still bright. You don't see it turning jet black. The skin's not dark or anything. Look at that, right? Now, take it right there. Right? In mind, that screen is so darker than my screen. I hope you enjoy your red wagon. Red wagon, red wagon, 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 wagon. Crow boys, just let you know. Hope you enjoy that red wagon. Red wagon, red wagon, red wagon. Say ten times like red wagon, red wagon. Red wagon, red wagon, red wagon. Nope. I have you at the length of where my projector was sitting over there. I have you at the length of where my projector is sitting here on his screen and on my screen. UV Mix does not produce any form of white light, white coating, nothing whatsoever. It produces a dark image as you can see right here. That was the case of my technology to have that ability. That means my screen would have looked just like that, but it doesn't look like that at all, period. Okay. Um, Keep in mind, when I make those little remarks in the back, it's not to my customers. My customers know my product. It's for you naysayers out there who basically constantly, constantly, constantly are sitting there trying to tear down my technology. And look, look at that. That's This is for these comments are for you. My customers who buy my product, they know what they get. You ever wonder why he's never tested a UV mix next to a personal mix? If he did, this is what he would get. If you saw that right there, what would you be thinking? Well, you got the nerve to say, hey, Ken's stuff is so dark. It comes up dark under your stuff. Your own stuff comes up dark under your own stuff. All right, let's move on from there. Let's show you something else pretty cool. UV Mix is still darker than my screen. It's way dark. No, it's actually lighter than my screen. My screen is black. I keep forgetting that. Black screen. I put black screen. There we go. There we go. Let's set that projector right there. And let's go, um, let me see. Let's. This fun. I don't know what I'm thinking about here. I've got better things to do, but this is actually fun. Okay. 4K fish. Let's do the butterflies. Well, we do get the black skin butterflies. Awesome. Take the black skin butterflies. All right. Now, I showed you automatically from the door. If we take his uh, gray screen paint, which is the um, free mix that you get, you can make for free, and the personal mix look exactly alike, right? We have the black silver, which is actually a gray screen, right? And this is a black screen, right? Okie doke.
Boom. Do, 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 do. Boom. Yeah. Color coding technology. You've been telling you that. Crow boys. Color coding technology. This is what, why our black screens can produce white levels. This is why the gray screens can produce contrast levels. This is why the blue screens, but the blue screens just do freaky stuff all together. They're just on their own little personal world. But there you go. Want to see something even more cool? Watch this. Voila! Magic is going. You see how the UV mix is darker than my screen. You see that? It's darker than my screen, and my screen can produce a higher contrast than his screen, and it's darker than his screen. Yet it can blend in his screen. Isn't that pretty cool? So how is it that the UV mix is a darker screen, but my screen can blend in his screen with no problem and produce a higher contrast when it's gray? Yet the black screen can produce a high enough white level where it can blend into his screen and my screen at the same time while showing off white levels. But keep in mind, in one of his videos, the UV mix was able to produce a white level so high that it turned my screen dark. Hmm. Now keep in mind, my screen's not going to be able to uh, blend into a personal mix. The personal mix is much higher, but the personal mix is not going to make my screen look like it's supposed to be, uh, what's the word for it? Um, too dark. So we'll take the personal mix. We're going to throw that one. Let me think we'll have it here. We'll put that against our gray screen. There we go. That's what our gray screen is to a personal mix. We'll take the personal mix out. We'll put this over here, and over there, right there, and we'll stick that over here against a black screen. And this is what a black screen does to a personal mix. I can blend one of your screens to outperform another screen at another level. I can go into a contrast level and I can wipe both of them out at the same time, including the actual world. I told you how powerful the 12s are. 12s can knock out a black silver, even though a black silver does produce a high contrast level. How do we know? Because I tested all this stuff over and over and over again. This is how I know all this stuff. Yep, we can put commercials on too. Do, 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 What was you saying about a 12 again? About it being too dark? Okay. I hate to do this to people. Get me started. Mind you. Boom. That's a 12 blending into all these screens. Well, one of, like I said, this screen's going to produce a higher white level, but like I said, it's not black like the way you said it was. It's supposed to be really dark. Let's get on with this snow. There we go. Do you notice my screen maintains contrast? Which you see the individual branches and trees. So does the gray. Look at the um, personal mix. It is pulling such a high white level that it's washing out all the contrast. That means the detail is gone. I think it's gonna quit now. But we'll keep it up. There's good stuff there, it's good. Okay, let's go with a star field demonstration. Let's go with something a little dark here. Don't worry, we're gonna put the blue screen as a knockoff projector. I'm curious to see that too myself. I'm curious. Let's do a magic blend real quick. We're gonna to get to that. I gotta do this part. 
Dun, 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 dun. I watched the white levels. Dun, 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 dun. Your personal mix pulls too high of a white level. That's why it has that bright white around it. It's not supposed to look like that. Where your UP mix, actually, my screen just blended your screen just now. And it just blended our screen at the same time. And that's a 12 doing that. When I get up close, you see where his screen is at? There it is. It's right. Hold on. It's right there. It's gone. But it's there. But it's gone. Personal mix. The personal mix has producing too high of a white level. Anytime it hits anywhere but the contrast is needed, it's not even there. It's no contrast there. You gotta stay there, buddy. I need you to stay there. And this is a black screen. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No disrespect, my friend. Ugh, I don't do that kind of stuff, so that wasn't intentional at all to do that to his, his surface. His screen paint. I was just trying to lift it up and put it back down. I try to be respectful. I'm having fun. I guess I am having fun. I'm having fun because, you know, it's, it's like you ever sit there and have a challenge with somebody and all day long you're trying to tell them this is what it's supposed to be and they're telling you, no, that's not what it's supposed to be. And you find that you're right. You're like, yes, yes, yes. There you go. That's where I'm at right now. I'm like this every day because, like I said, I watch his demonstrations. I know exactly how his stuff works. I used to make that stuff back in 2010. All that great that stuff right here, that's why I sat there. I made all this stuff already before. I know how his stuff reacts. There's no difference in it. If I put that against other different gray screens, that thing will blend into all the other gray screens at the same time. There's no difference in it. But I can show you a difference in my technology. I can show you a gray screen, which is our technology, blend into the black screen. I can show you where my technology hit can produce a contrast level with no problem against my screen to your screen. I can show this screen right here, which is your personal mix, which for some reason is supposed to be so bright that the black screen should be darker, shouldn't it? And I can do this. Yeah, I'm having fun here. And then I'm like, oh, you're very unprofessional. It's my company. I'm having fun here. All right, I have that right. I have a bunch of people every single day want to sit to me, and I can come out here and do this. Because my screen's supposed to be so dark, you can't even see it. My customers are pretty much probably home laughing their heads off over this, because my customers get a kick out of this. My business partners get a kick out of this. My investors get a kick out of this. The only people that are upset are the naysayers. They're the ones that are upset, sitting there like, I hate this guy so much. Like, like get on my nerves. Like, well, you know what? You should know better. Look, Tony totally Clips of the crystal. Tony Clips of the crystal, crystal H technology of the Supremes of the Eclipse. Come back over. Yeah, I have that right. I worked 10 years at my technology. 10 freaking years of hard work to produce this kind of stuff and that kind of stuff and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I have a right. I have a right to. A right to have a little fun. All right, let's come out of this. Let's go to that contrast level. Let's let the black screen flex for a bit. So we're gonna go over to, let's see, let's go over here. You can already see it already coming out. Let's come out of this right here. Let's go to the Starfield demonstration. There's Starfield demonstration right there. Or Starfield screensaver, even better. Ah, it's starting to save my stuff. Let me keep coming back in again. Now, this is where our gray screens are not going to be to keep up to the black screen. And there you go. Even I know that. I mean, I would never sit there and tell you that our black silver would ever have the ability to be able to keep up with a 12. That's virtually impossible. They're jet black. The extreme is actually darker than the 12. And yeah, extreme sold out. There's a company actually in the process of buying that technology from us. So that's a negotiation. That's a little piece of document I was reading earlier this morning. But anyway, so um, the 12, as I said before, like I said, is the darkest screen we make. But keep in mind, not only can it produce a high contrast level, it can produce amazing bright colors, as I said before. And the description of the technology in our website, it says that the technology white levels are a tad low, but nothing that would disrupt your picture quality.
That's why the crow voice was so upset, and that's why you need to make comments saying, oh, it's got to be a cell phone settings. I just did a video a few minutes ago recording me as I was recording, changing my settings on my phone. Do, 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 do. Let's go over to, um, let's see. Um... See, what Crow has to understand is when you do demonstration and you portray my technology to be so dark, like that dark, I don't know what goes through his head. Like, I mean, common sense would tell him this man could just come in and do a live demonstration and show off my screen doing a demonstration or a snowstorm, or whatever, and producing a nice white, bright image. But I think he's got in his head that, oh, it's got to be tricked with a cell phone. We already debunked all that one already. And he still keeps continuing to doing it. And it's like, wow, he just doesn't listen at all. This is why he canceled all the orders. He canceled all the orders because he doesn't do demonstrations like this. He doesn't do demonstrations like this against his own stuff. I throw my own screens against my own technology. I always show you that, hey, look, I'm not going to sell you something and tell you, hey, a black silver is going to have the ability to pull a contrast level the same as our black screen. No, I'm going to tell you that's not possible. Blues can't even do it. A blue couldn't even match a 12. Head to head on contrast, other than blues do insane stuff. They'll never be the match of 12. Nothing will ever beat a black screen, just like a white screen. There's no screen on the face of this planet that will ever beat a white screen when it comes to white levels. It's white. It's impossible. But if someone figures that one out, boy, I'm telling you, I'll tell you every secret I got in the back of my head. So let me see. We already know that already. Star field. Let's go. We did the pretty, pretty colors. Let's go. We did the white levels. We did skin tones. Uh, let's see. Let's clear this out right here. And let's go over to uh, LG. LG's got that snowboarding demonstration right there. Do, 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 do. Now, why would somebody with a black screen show you a demonstration of a snowboarding demonstration when he's got a gray screen and another gray, or multiple screens leaning against him? That are different colors that are basically could run the risk of turning my screen so jet black you can't even see it. Who who does that? Like seriously, who does something like that? Oh, real quick, start this. I want you to take a look at the personal mix. Look how it hit. every time it hits a black surface, it turns gray. It can pull white level. It can't pull contrast level. Right, let's begin. Now, what do you think would happen if I did the same demonstration on that screen using his gray or um, darker mix? Again, like I said, it's supposed to be so dark. It's supposed to be pitch black. It should be the same color as all this right here. The snow and all that should be the same color on our screen as that guy's black jacket. But it's not. Let me see. I see, Mama, see. Do, 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 do. It's gray, not black. Even our own technology. Now look at the contrast level. Like I said, in our technology here, in the background, compared to where Crows is at right there, how dark it is here and here, and where how light is in here. Our black silvers can pull a contrast level heavier than this green. You see the edges around the screen? Do you see where they actually turn the light 
It's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be dark. See how much darker there are here compared to right there. But yet we can bring the screen. So if I go over to, uh, let me see. Some pretty birds. And meanwhile, look at the personal mix. It's too bright. Colors are faded and washed out. Contrast is faded, washed out. Look at the personal mix on the bird. Look how washed and fade out it is. Colors washed out, it's fade out. Look at the dark silver. We develop, it blends into our screen. If I take Crow's UV mix and I take it and I stick it against this screen, I can make it disappear. Voila, it's gone. Now, let's get to that knockoff projector. So, come over here for a minute. That's why I said, smoke and mirrors, people. Smoke and mirrors. You, when you're staking demonstrations for the longest time, they're just not seeing it. That's the problem. Nobody, they're not seeing it. I see it. I see it. Anybody else, I've talked to people that in their professional fields of home theater setups, they see it. They definitely see it. Crystal clear. I had somebody actually said that to me. He said, what? He's going to constantly talk about your product. How come he doesn't put that UP mix against his light gray screen? How is that, how is that going to look? Mind you, I got my gray screen into mine. I can blend that in. I can take his UP mix and I can blend it into my screen. I can blend it into my gray screen. But yet, if I try to, uh, let me see, we get a dark extreme paint. And then we do white, keep on, we do white levels. My screen blends right into his screen on a white level. And I put his personal mix against my screen. So I didn't put everything all, I didn't put just this against it. I put his lighter screen paint against my screen too. You know, so, you know. For yourself. Now, like I said, at white levels, of course, the personal mix is going to pull a higher white level. It's a lighter screen. But the personal mix right next to his own UP mix is going to turn his screen dark and make it look dirty. Or if we take his personal mix and I put it against my technology, it's going to produce a, a bright white level, but not to the point where he's showing demonstrations where our screen's coming out so dark you can't see anything at all. You can clearly see everything crystal clear on that screen. It's just that the personal mix was produced in a wider level due to the fact it is a, white, a lighter screen paint. But when it comes to blues and greens and contrast and natural colors, the screen snow blind. <laughs> Even at 4300 lumens. Am I looped? I think I'm looped. Y'all figure that out. You figure out how the personal mix looks exactly and reacts exactly like the free mix he put online. That's why somebody made a comment to him about the Cinemax, Betamax, Cinemax, HBO Max. Sorry, it, it, it starts. So anyway, um, so the bottom line is the Cinemax, somebody made up a comment. I want to see it next to the personal mix. I bet you it's the same thing. The Red Wagon scenario. So but this time he's not painting your wagon different colors, he's just painting the different shades of gray. That's all. See how dark that came up against the screen? Now keep in mind, his personal mix was leaning against my black screen, and my black screen never came up that dark. We'll let that play the rated setup for the other screen and the other projector. 
Oh, by the way, so we don't miss anything here. There's a white sheet of paper. And I've done the white sheet of paper. I put white sheets of paper all over my screen. I've done that one too, even on the thousand lumens. As I said before, I would never claim my technology to be able to beat a white sheet of paper on white levels. Like I said, impossible. It can't be done. And there's no way in the world, even with um, his uh, do-it-yourself free mix or his personal mix, we ever be able to match a white screen on white levels. It's, not, it's unheard of. Match a white sheet of paper. Nobody can. Even I couldn't do it. But as I said before, that UB mix and that and personal mix right there and that Dewey stuff mix, that is very, very close. Extremely close. All right, let's get this out of here. Don't know this. Out of the way. Don't want me to go down that road and do that. I wasn't planning to do that. It was never planned. But why it dawned on me to do that? Because it, it kills me when somebody sits there and goes, oh, well, it's black screen. You know, it, it produces such a dark level, you know, against so-and-so, against my, my lighter screen paint mixes. But have you ever tested your UB mix on white levels next to your um, darker screen paints? And you haven't. You haven't done your personal mix or your Frankenstein mix and get some darker screen paints that you make. You don't do that. You fake your demonstrations. You stay away from those demonstrations. You put those screens by themselves. That's what we do. With my technology, we don't do that. We hit our screens with white screens. We hit our screens with black screens with uh, his personal mix. Like I said, I got no problem with throwing white screens all over my screen. I know my screens can produce high enough levels to be able to show they don't come up dark. That's not easy. For, that's not hard for me to do. But if you did that and that demonstration came up like that, yeah. All right, so let's grab that blue screen out. Blue, blue, blue. This screen is a freaking monster. I'm gonna give you a break today, Crow. I'm not gonna put you against this thing. Trust me, when the blue finally launches, we do the blue and the black together. We're doing back together. We're doing back. So it's like we were asking about that. We had to. You know what I mean? Just so you know, we're all on the same page here, people. The blue is not going to be the price that you think it's going to be. It's not. It's not. And I've already got investors already lined up for it, for this technology. It's the only blue projection screen on the market. There's nothing like it at all, period. And they see it. investors see it. They want a part of it. Now, yes, it is going to be on the market. Customers will be able to afford it and get it. It's not going to be an outrageous price, but it's not going to be at $160 a quarter. I'm sorry, but it's not. It costs too much money to make it. That's why I sat there and I spent thousands of dollars for patent pennies all over it to make sure I can protect this stuff. So let's get this projector out of the way because this is a knockoff. This is a oh, knockoff. Can you imagine if a knockoff projector looked this good? Wow, you know what I mean? Really? If it looked that good for a knockoff projector, like, whew. how much is a projector again? Like $23. Like, really? Yeah, man, I have projectors all over my house, man. Oh, you got projectors all over the house. Let's get this out of the way. 
Now, this one right here, like I said, you can use the um, the black silver uh, for the valve projectors. We got a customer right now, but he's doing it right now. He's going to be doing it with a valve projector. Um, but yeah, blue 100% will work off with a knockoff projector. They'll do it. They're not going to give you, now keep in mind, it's not going to give you like insane picture quality like you would get with a name brand, but at least the picture would be a lot better than basically the stuff that, you know, you've been using it with. A white screen. Let's get this one shut off. Let me get me a charger too. Don't get me wrong, I would never say in a million years. I would never say in a million years that like, yeah, Crow's a scammer and this, that, and the other. I'd never say that. Just gotta be a little more honest with his demonstrations. That's what I feel we should be. You know what I mean? Like, the product will work. It'll work. Let's say it don't work. It will work. You know what I mean? It's just not on our level. That's all to it. I mean, the product does work. It does show uh, um, uh, a slight bit in contrast. It does show color. It does show white levels. It does work. You know what I mean? But it's not on our level. And you know, you kind of stop doing that, saying that we're on the same level. No, you're not. You're so far from it. It's not even funny. I'm not trying to be rude here, but it's true. But your product does work. It does work. Now, as in the other screen paints we tested against his, they all work too. And they all look the same. I hate to say it, but they all look the same. And that free mix and that personal mix looks so much alike. It is not even funny how that looks. You know, it's funny, interesting, that if you had sold us that screen paint, I would have never looked in on that video. I know I would have never looked in. I would have never bothered to look at it because I would have had the products here already to do the demonstrations or reviews against your product. I'd have never looked into it. But since you denied it, I'm thinking, okay, he doesn't want to give us the paint. And then it dawned on me like, yeah, it's like we used to give his paint out for free. I wonder if that video is still standing, and the video was still standing, was still there. So, you know, for people who want to get upset over that, how in the world are you going to get upset with me? It's his video showing you how to make it. So how in the world? That's his, that's, that's wrongdoing. It's like having the best security system in the world, and you leave your doors open. I mean, come on. Who leaves a video like that to begin with? If I ain't the, if I ain't the only one, that's, I'm pretty sure more people saw it than me. You tell me views they had on so I'm pretty sure the minute he started selling his paint, people pretty much saw that video. It was like, wait a minute, what the frick am I buying this for? I can just do the same thing. And I guarantee you, it probably would match. The, and then you had the problem with people going in and experimenting with your stuff. Because I'm not even going on that level. It is what it is. Like I said, if I bring that paint out, I'm going to say it what it is. It is that, um, we call it the, um, because of the Metallica mix, that's all it's going to be. I'm not going to add no four teaspoons of this or drop glitter or or any kind of stuff inside of it to alter or change it because that's wrong. You made it this way. That's how you displayed it, and that's the way it's going to stay. As you displayed it, that's fair. But if someone else comes in and they're not thinking to say, well, I'm thinking, they might start thinking about, I could drop a couple of teaspoons of this and that in there, and I can add some of this and that in there. They're going to alter and change that and turn that into something crazy, and then they're going to turn around and sell it for cheap during your product and put you out of business. You should have you should have shut that video down to begin with. The minute you started selling and making a profit off of that, because to be an all fair people, when you started off, Crow used to sell his product for free. I mean, no, used to for free, sell for free. Ha, oh, it's funny. He used to give it away for free. That's why the video was there. But the minute you started decided to make a profit off of it, you should have removed the video. And then somebody would say, well, it's wrong for you to go in and make it. No, it's free enterprise. It's a free enterprise is, people. What it's called. Because out of curiosity, I'm thinking, like, how close would this come to the personal mix? And sure enough, it came very, very close. You know? Come on. Can't sit there and brag, brag about having the best security system on the face of the planet. You leave doors open. That's like the Batman, man. Having a display, like a billboard right over top of his cave saying, hey, look, Bat Cave is right here. Come and invade, all alarm systems are shut off. That's kind of like what you did. Jeffrey's going to take advantage of that. Well, oh, heck yeah. Shoot, get that bat bike painted up all purple and everything. Put my logo on it. Flash it up. You would think, it's funny, they should make a modern version, like a really serious modern version. I did what he did to Joker. But I want to see what happens. They should do, like, they should go back when they were kids. I want to see Batman and Robin. Like, they rewind it. You ever seen the one with Halloween where they took it all the way back? When he was a kid, I want to see that in a version. I did it with Star Wars. I'm going to see it with Batman and Robin and all the superheroes. And so, what did he do that already? Oh, Smallville. Okay, yeah, right. That's right. I already have it. That's right. Sorry, people. I don't watch much TV. All right, so let's grab this cheap knockoff projector right here. Right here. 
stick it right here, right here, right here. As for that other guy with the HD paint, I'm sorry, man. Look, that product looks like white paint. It's it's gray. It is gray. It has a slight case of gray to it, but it looks just like white paint. And it smells a bit like Bear 1050. That's what it smells like. But like I said, uh, I didn't believe any bad reviews on his page. This guy has a 100% perfect uh, rating on his eBay account. I'm not going to go in there and put anything on that at all, period. I'm just going to give him a good review. I am. Even though he sent me a package with no label on it, had no label on, on the wrapper, even though he basically, uh, the, the product didn't do good with contrast and so forth. But, you know, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't do anything he described it was supposed to do, but it did get good color. Like I guess they gave good color because it's, it's almost near white screen. And then when it came to certain things, it just, you know, you know, didn't do too well. But then again, we're testing against our stuff. But when it went against Jamie's stuff, it actually, it matched it actually pretty good, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's true. I mean, if you want me to do a demonstration, I got a whole can of it downstairs in the basement. I'll do a half and half screen. You can decide for yourself if you don't believe me. Uh, I'll do that today. I'll do a half and half screen. I'll take half of this stuff. I'll paint half of that screen with his stuff, um, half of it with the door of your stuff, and we'll, get his, we'll put his up in the middle of it. We'll put his personal mix, and you can decide for yourself uh, how it looks. But other than that, He's got a perfect, I mean, a perfect uh, um, eBay rating. I'm not going to go in there and mess with that. I don't care if he brought me, sent me a can of empty paint. I'm not going to do that because I used to work, I used to be on eBay. And, you know, and we got that perfect, you know, you know, get that mark on there. I ain't going to do that to him. Shoot, I got a, I had a few items come here that didn't work right. I don't go and file complaints. It depends on how much money's involved. It's 30, 40 bucks. I don't bother with it. If it's something I bought from charity, well, that Chrissy got to go back. That's a three hundred dollar piece of equipment in there. That's got to go back. I can't do anything with it. If there was a way that I could fix it, which is cheaper, I would keep it. But there's no way to fix it because the color, the color wheel, color um, uh, wheel is damaged really bad, and that's going to cost me a lot of money to fix. I already checked into it. I talked to somebody who works on them. He told me no, yeah, I couldn't do anything with it. So. I'm hesitating whether or not I might not even take it back. I might just keep it and let them keep the money because it I can't I don't think I can do it. You know what I can't do it. It's charity. I'm gonna lose three hundred dollars. So be it. Who cares? I'll get it back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna basically cancel the um complaint. Three hundred dollars. The other half I feel kind of upset because I wish they would have known, but you know, it's charity. It's going to somebody who needs it more than me. I can't go file a complaint against them on that. I'll just keep it. I'll do something with it, something kooky with it or something. Maybe I can fix it or find somebody, get me some parts or something and fix it, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing some rambling at all like a madman. I said, what the frick is he talking about? I show you. You've never seen it. Behold. This is the Chrissy projector that I ordered. It's that giant monster in that box. There's a projector in it. Big one, a very big projector. A 7,000 lumen projector sits in that box. Didn't work the way it was supposed to work. It has a huge rapid color that's flashing across the screen. It, it, it's something it's like when you take a cam picture of something and it's so bright on your camera, you get the ripples of colors. That's what it's doing. That's a damaged color wheel. So we're talking about at that projector, we're talking about maybe about four grand to fix it. So, and then keep in mind, it's kind of hard because when you think about it, it went to, it's charity. I bought it from a charity group. So that money went to help out somebody who needs it more than I do. So, yeah, I'm going to be out $300, but on the other end of it, I can sleep at night knowing somebody got money that they can use it for. So I'll do something else with it. That's what I'll do. I just know next time that if I get some, I uh, know I'll, I'll still pay the money. It'll make a difference. There are a lot of things that people don't know about my life, man. You know, I used to be homeless. I was homeless with the Salvation Army. Yeah, all that stuff, man. Yep. Yes, sir. I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like to have nothing. Uh, to go without food, I don't miss like. 
So, no, I'm going to keep it. I'll do something with it. I'll figure it out. I'll maybe do some more research on it. You know what I mean? Figure out how to fix it. I feel happy about this decision. Ouch. Step on the cord. Good gracious, I hate stepping on the cords. Like I tell people, I get no credibility from Crow. I don't. It's just basically just trying to teach him to stay in his lane. Mind your own business and just stay in your lane. Work on your product. Don't worry about what I do. Because the last thing you want me to do is start doing reviews about your product. You don't want that. Because I'll be thrown by the book with it. I'm not going to cut corners and use up smoke screens, none of that nonsense. I will go right on in in your technology and I will show you for exact people exactly what it does. So just mind your own business. That's all you got to do. And I will basically pretend you don't even exist. All you got to do, mind your own business. Oh, look at that. I'll knock off projector on the, on the blue. So mind, this is a crappy projector right here. Can you imagine if you hit with one of those valve projectors, what this thing would look like on that projector? On that screen or whatever. Got that kind of mixed up there. Told you. Boots can actually make knockoff projectors look really good. So we've got the lights on. Let's take the lights out. See, we got on bright levels. There's still a few things Americans can agree on. The importance of speed, hard work, and great effort. And cake. I can agree on cake. Yes, sir, people. Why do you think I've got a patent on this technology? Anytime you see a video come up and there's no sound to it, that means they had copyrighted music on there and they were supposed to be using it. I really don't really like the fact these projectors lie about their specifications, but I like, you know, people get these projectors and, you know, they just want the picture quality to pop better, they want to look much better. And um, between the black silvers can do this and blues definitely can do it, no problem. So I have to change the title to knockoff projectors and the difference between screen paints. I 
got a trash bag. Ooh. That's trash bag in the house. Not coming all the way up. I can pop to fill it up no more. All right, trash for this. This mess. This uh, gray screen paint fiasco. Now since I'm throwing this in the trash. That's garbage. Mind you, that's not uh, that's not as um. That's that thick nonsense that I made that I put out there for the video. That crap. And the trash. that there. Get out of here. Now let's see what happened to this mess right here. I'm curious to see what this this slop turned into. That's that sloppy paint that I just threw up there. I know it can't be it. Why is it? Right. Bring 
get back some. Alright. Alright. Now I think the blue, well, let me count. What I'm going to do on that one is probably going to be at like 800. 800 will pull on this screen easily. Um, we did it already. We did it at 12. It used to be at 12. It's at 15 now. So you can probably use an 800 lumen projector in a fully lit environment to actually run it off this stuff. But if you did it with the knockoff projector, knockoff projector lumens are way, way, way lower than 800 lumens. They're way lower than five. We lie about those specifications so much. Blue projection screen that produces white. Makes 720p. I think 12 to that. So 12 makes 720p for like 1080p. We've done that one too. All those demonstrations. You've had too much blue for the day. We're done. Let me bring the other screen out because I gotta get something to eat. I'm hungry. I need anything all day today. I gotta eat. Whew, what was the temperature? Oh, I gotta feed my squirrels today too. Crap! I forgot to feed the squirrels. I gotta feed those monsters. All right, let's take all this. Cheap paint, the one I just made a few minutes ago. You guys are probably saying, but you didn't show off that paint. I gotta see that paint too. And I tell you, it all reacts the same way. Nothing different about it. It all reacts the same way. Let's see. It's the same thing. It all reacts the same way. There you go. Do it on 4300 lumens. The thing about gray paint, I find it interesting. If you make it too dark, your white levels suffer. If you make it too white, then your black levels suffer. There's no in between. There's literally no in between in a, in a gray screen. If your white levels are too high, you can't produce contrast, and your colors suffer, or it's a little too dark, and the problem you have is that your white levels suffer. There's no win situation in there. Now that's the doodah paint that I made on the side. That thick gooey paint that came out looking like peanut butter. And that is Crow's uh, do-it-yourself mix right there. Let's get a little closer. See right there? That splatter mess on the side of the screen? Yeah. Dry? 
Yeah, because I don't want the thing touching my rug. It's no styrofoam, baby. So the fellow in the middle is the HD paint for 30 bucks. The whole entire screen is painted with the do-it-yourself free mix from Crow. And the one over here on this right here is his personal mix. And that was a white sheet of paper, it just fell off. Let's see if we can get that back up there. So you can see it's all the same, no difference. It's all blended together. part of the white wall with it. I told you that this particular mix right here, this is the um the HD paint that comes off looking very close to white. That and a white sheet of paper looks so close together. And then you look at the personal mix and the do-it-yourself mix there. And there's our paint right there splattered in the corner. Or is it a little darker? So now you see these two and these two look exactly the same. And the personal mix and the whole entire screen paint with the do-it-yourself look the same. And then there's the side of a beige wall right there. See the makeshift paint we made? See, it blends right on in. In certain areas, it'll blend right into a screen. See that right stain in the middle, that's us. This is 
got all the bright colors up there. the screen in the back of my kitchen how are you it's all the same I can't figure what video that is that is very relaxing Demonstrations, some black contrast demonstrations. Oh, I spelled that completely wrong. My bad. When that screen transfers over, it's supposed to be black. So you let me know if you've ever seen an OLED TV. Have you ever seen gray in the background? And then we got two other screen paints coming in. Uh, like I said, the NOX or NOX, I think it's called NOX or whatever it's called. We got that coming in, and we got uh, Pro Screens USA. Put them all together. See exactly how many of them basically blend together. Now, as you can see, like I said, I can take my black silver, lay it down, hit it with a cheap and low end projector, put a star field demonstration, and I can throw sample sheet and sample sample sheet, even the high professional ones. Every last one of them would never pull contrast over next to that black silver. That's the difference between our technology and everybody else. So I'll take all these screens and line them up, and we'll see which ones have the difference. Technically, they blend. Let's go pull up. Let me see. Where's a good one? Some of you may look at that and say, but that's a black level. No, that's not a black level. Not even by far. It's not even a black level. That horse should look as dark as my couch over there. That's where that horse should look. As dark as my couch. You can't even see the person in the mix anymore, can you? The personal mix is right there. That's it's so many scary factors on this screen. The fact that you got some screens that look like white screens, you got other screens that are blended in the free screen, free screen paint mixes. I mean, come on, look at that crap. You got a personal mix that costs $107 blended into a screen that's basically free, that's being shown for free. None of them are pulling contrasts, the colors are off, and we're using a 4300 lumen projector at 1920 by 1200 Chrissy. And we're not even outside yet. We're still inside. We still gotta go. Sooner or later, we demonstrate is gonna have to be done outside. We got a good day today. I'm gonna go walk outside and see what the weather's like on the deck. And we still gotta be outside.
little munchkins out there. My munchkins are all out there waiting for me to eat. Like, where the freak is the human? Where is the human? Human was supposed to be out here to feed us. I'll feed my little farm. Well, let's call it the farm. The squirrel farm. I got enough of them in the yard now. I'm up to 20 squirrels now. 20 squirrels. I think I might have saw a black one in there. I'm not sure what that was, but no, I figured probably chipmunk. My food feeds all the little ones. I want to hit something with the heavies. Put the heavies out. Where's the heavies? Like I said, what you look for, that whole background is supposed to be jet black. These are OLED demonstrations. They're not supposed to be gray. There should be any gray showing up in the background at all, period. No light gray, nothing. It should be jet black. <clears throat> what do you think? If you bought an OLED TV, you go to turn it on and your background is gray. Take it right back to the store. Background supposed to be black. There's an OLED strip displays. to be black. It's not supposed to be gray. Well, you can't see it over there. You know what to do? This is what I'm going to do. I like to give you the most deepest insight when you're looking at stuff. So we're going to build a corner screen. You know what corner screens are? We're going to take a screen. We're going to put it in a corner just like this. One side, we're going to have them. One side, we're going to have them. We're going to have the camera viewed right in the corner. And that way, you can see the seat and forth. That's what we're going to do. I like doing those. You see how that background looks gray? That's supposed to be jet black. I should just take my... And go, All right. And now I'm being arrogant. I apologize. I tell you, I felt like doing that when I went to freaking Disney World. Man, I want this freaking che cheetah and animal display exhibit. And I, told, I think I told y'all this story before. Where that, my, I had my ex watch my back. I knew the projectors Disney had had to be freaking monsters. And I was like, just watch my back. I climbed over the freaking railing. You know, employees are not, uh, people are not supposed to be at employees only. And I got a chance to look at the projectors they had back there. Wow, freaking Disney. Freaking wow. I was just, wow. You're using this kind of power on a white projection screen? Oh, man, I couldn't stand it being in there. I said, we got to go, we got to go. I got to leave the exhibit. I couldn't do it. I just want to go in there with my freaking paint rolling and just go, yeah, right down the side of that screen so bad. Like, look, this is what you're missing. All that freaking power back there, and you're displaying it off a white screen. Oh, yeah. So why aren't you telling about it? No, I'm on vacation. I don't want to be bothered. Literally, just didn't want to be bothered. But I just felt like just taking a paint roll and just going, oh. Yeah. They're out there playing golf right now. You can hear them. Ford! But he probably heard me too. It drove me crazy. I saw them projecting. Like, really, Disney? Oh my goodness. Half a million dollar projectors. Projectors were monsters back there. And they're displaying them on these 150 inch white screens. I'm like, it's like just getting some paint. Just going, arr, arr, arr. Fix your freaking display. Paid seven thousand dollars to go down to see that place. Freaking turn around, just walk into an exhibit look like that. Like, oh god, what the heck is this? I had to see the projectors where I had to. I mean, most likely, would have happened. I probably would have got a good scolding. <laughs> Somebody tell me like, what the frick are you doing back here? That's basically about it. But I had to take the chance. I'm just curious what they were using. Oh, nice projectors, man. Shoot. I would love to get one of them. And if I did have one, I had no place to put it. These tickets are huge. It's like a mini refrigerator with a freaking 
like a dinner dish on it for a lens. It was huge. I gotta get back on Hulu. I haven't been on Hulu in a while. Hulu started getting kind of expensive for me. Like seventy five dollars a freaking month. We want all the channels. I know probably some of you are probably thinking right now, I could probably make this myself. I'm not saying anything about that. That's just your it's your thoughts, not mine. As for, I'll tell you, the hardest one to make on there, and honestly, the hardest one would be to make is that HD screen paint. That would be the hardest. Because it's, it's, it looks like it's white, but it's not white. It's an actual gray. Good God, that's the whitest gray I've ever seen in my entire life. And it comes close to a white screen, but it's something different about it. That I can say. I don't even know how we even came close to that one. But I can show them how to advance its contrast levels to make it flawless. And again, like I said, if we look at this, take these off real quick. We'll take his off right now. That's free, that you pay for. That's the US uh, uh, personal mix and the do it yourself free screen painting displays. And then that's our blob of whatever we made in that corner over there and smeared on that thick paint. That's us. That's why he sat there and saw me drop the roller and said, I'm not making this crap. I'm not doing this. Because I already knew from the door that no matter when it comes to great paints, it doesn't make a difference on how you make it. It all looks the same. Now keep in mind, I knew this was going to happen. If I show this, this demonstration, I knew he was going to go in and develop a whole different form of screen paint and say it's completely different from anything he's ever made. Well, if it's completely different, then he would have no problem basically taking that personal mix Frankenstein or any one of the screen paints that come close to looking like that screen and doing a side-by-side -side demonstration. As a matter of fact, you should make the free stuff that you're showing people how to make for free and do a side-by-side -side demonstration. And let's see how close that comes together. Because somebody sat there and saw my, uh, uh, my uh, what's it called, the black silver and said, well, Ken, what's the difference between your black silver and any other gray screen out there? Number one, when I shake my container, my screen's changed in different colors. So that's one. Number two, if you paint that onto a surface, the surface doesn't change color, it remains gray. Number three, it pulls the contrast level dark enough to basically blow out all the other screens that were sitting up against it, especially that dark star nine. It was actually darker than my screen. There you go. What's different between your black screen and the screens? Well, my black screens can pull a high white level. How so? Because I can take a gray screen, throw it against my screen, it'll blend right into it. And pull a contrast level that screen can't produce. And I've also did demonstrations of testing my black screens against black paint, black spray paint, black fabric, black material, black vinyl, black foam. Yeah, I did all those already. And they're all over YouTube. You can watch them. You have to show the difference. But if you're not showing any difference between this and the other, well, there you go. Red wagon scenario. Let's go to the pinball. Okay, you have to you have to cross all your T's and dot all your I's. You have to understand that somebody somewhere is going to do this. So you you have to have a lot of confidence to think that no one's going to actually do this. I've already been through situations where I've had companies try to reverse engineer my technology by adding stuff in there, and they screw the whole entire formula up, and they want to blame me for it. I've been in situations where people have basically tried to use black paint against their technology. We all see how that one came out already. Ha ha, Mr. Crow. Yeah, we know all this stuff. We know how it's going to react because we tested all this stuff already. 
I have to test my product to see how it's going to react if somebody throws black paint in there or black paint next to it. But if you don't do any of these demonstrations, someone along the line is going to do it for you. I look at this as a learning experience. Go back, reconstruct your stuff, do it all over again. Do your demonstrations all by the book and sell a product. That's really worth buying. Because I'm sitting here blending your stuff together right now. With our gooky paint on the side. That's because the gooky paint. The gooky paint, that paint was thick. No, 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 no. We changed the peanut butter paint. It's peanut butter paint because that stuff was thick. So that stuff that came out on the end of the road was just stuck on it. I'm going to call this peanut butter. It's my peanut butter paint. So we got my peanut butter paint here. We have, you know, we all know the story already. Let's not move on. I'm going to beat this horse to death. It's not just for screen planes, the same thing goes to them high end projection screen companies too. Stop testing your technology against white screens. Stop basing yourself off white screens. Because eventually someone's going to come along and they're going to develop a technology that basically can blend in the gray screens and your screen at the same time. You should be testing against other gray screens. So what happens one day when all white screens become obsolete and there's no such thing as a white screen, it doesn't even exist anymore, then what? Then we're just going to test your technology against. We ain't hitting you, Jack. We ain't hitting the companies. You know why? Because while the companies are trying to source out and trying to catch up the black technology, I'm already in blue and purple and using coding technology that will allow me to be allow projectors to read color. I'm way ahead. Oh, battery's dying. Battery's dying. It's dying. It's dying. It's dying. I'm going to charge it up over here now. Yeah, it's funny because you hear me make all these weird noises in the back. Do you know it's like gaming with me online? And people are like, are you drunk today? Like, no, 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 not even drunk. Just a little bit happy, but I'm not drunk. <laughs> There's weird noises in the background. That's me. Singing the freaking theme songs from Charles and Charles of Day and Night. Some, that's me on the microphone. I'm always carrying on. Like I said, I can go out and get some right now. Order some bare silver screen or some gray primer and put it right alongside and see what happens. But I'm not, because that's, that's taking it too far. This is enough. This is all that's needed. That's going too far. No, I'm not doing that. People say, but this is taking it too far. No, it isn't. He put it on his YouTube channel. Pretty sure if you paid $104 for some paint, and you went out and try to duplicate the same thing, which we do welcome you to do the same thing. Let's try to duplicate a product because it's funny. It really is funny. Somebody ordered like nine hundred dollars worth of our product for the purpose of trying to reverse engineer it and messed it up. Messed it up pretty bad. Added something in there, damaged the screen. Can't be dropping stuff in the stuff you don't want to talk about. Blah. All right, come right here. We got the wrong one control, don't we? Let's see. Let's grab something else. Let's see. We need another demonstration here. We just want the lights up to the night so we don't care. We'll do this one right here. I like doing this one with the colors. Eventually, when we kill this virus, it should be like this either way. We should be cleansy like this. We should be clean like this all the time. I myself basically can admit that they come upstairs and had dinner covered in paint. So I do admit, you know what I mean? Should I'm covering paint right now. But I do wash my hands constantly all the time for the whole health issue thing. But other than that, yeah, I'm always covered in paint. 
I don't even think I know what it's like to basically walk out the door without having one and any paint on me at all. I've always got paint on me all the time. Like, yo, you got paint on your arm. Okay, whatever. I just came from work. Now, the gooky paint, peanut butter paint, that right there is basically just black and white paint, but it's just a little bit more black. And what it is, just added in some gold glitter. Gold glitter. Uh, you can put silver glitter in if you want. You can buy this stuff over at Home Depot or Lowe's. Pretty much mostly at Lowe's you can get it at that vast or whatever. Stuff you put in paint to make the walls look sparkly. That's what's in there. And so, it's the same thing how I made the other one. I just basically put glitter in it. That's all. And I put a little bit more black in it. That's all. Because technically, no one owns the right to black and white paint mix. They just don't. Before Crow ever existed, before Crow was ever on YouTube, whatever, there was basically something called the YouTube paint. It was a YouTube screen paint. And it was at that time when everybody was, I think the projector was called a Galaxy. It was a Galaxy 737. That's what it was. A Galaxy 737. Do you remember those projectors? These are projectors that came over from China. These are actually, were real, actually really good knockoff projectors. They were actually they weren't even knockoffs. They were just, just basically just projectors from overseas. And they were called the Galaxy 737. I remember that 737 or 731. But anyway, they took these little lead lights that one talking about this big. And they were actually pretty good. I'm going to see if I can find one of those old videos and post it so you can see what it was. So at that particular time, everybody had these projectors, right? And their environments were really, really, really dark because that was the thing. Both dark environment, blocking all your curtains. The room had to be super pitch black dark. There was no such thing as ambient light rejection, none of that stuff. That stuff didn't even exist then. All right. So anyway, they had something called the YouTube paint. And the YouTube paint basically was uh, gray and black paint, like pearlescent, you know what I mean, mixed with uh, a couple of teaspoons of black. That's what it was. That's pretty much what it was. You go back, you'll see those older demonstrations from back then. That's how long that stuff has been around. We got our hands on it. I started working with, well, God bless me, to get an idea to learn how to use it with the lights on. Because at that particular time, everybody was doing it in the dark. And lo and behold, I figured out how to basically, even though it was a bit glittery, as I don't know what, you see maybe there's a lot of glitter. Um, cause I, I know all this stuff. So anyway, so yeah, I learned how to use demonstrations with the last world. All the lights on. But now it's not enough for a screen to be used in a full lit environment. You have to have contrast levels, the colors gotta pop, they can't be too washed out. But the eye opener for here for you people is the fact you can see that this technology does not do well against our technology of course but as you can see that really doesn't take a rocket scientist to make it let's keep in mind that UV mix and free mix is still up here and my uh my goop so my peanut butter paint Oh, and you're probably curious why the paint was so thick. Added flour. I told you it's just making junk. So I added flour into it. Lots and lots of flour. You know what happens if you mix flour and paint or starch and paint? It actually makes it thicker. So people basically, if you went to art school and you basically want to make your paint a little bit more thicker or a little more dense to it, they would add starch to it to make it thicker. There's a whole lot of stuff you don't know about. It. Well, I'm pretty sure some of you know about the stuff. Yeah, they add flour into it, they add starch into it. That's what makes the paint thicker. Makes it apply. If you're using it like something like on a wall that basically has a lot of grooves and stuff into it, and they use it. You can also use it as a form of um, uh, like a kind of a cheap version of putty. You add more flour to it, it stiffens it up. Starch stiffens it up. Use it as a temporary fix of putty. So let's get close. Let's see how much of a difference that the mixes all look together. So here we are. Okay, so I'll put up on there. Get my camera out of there. And there we are. The personal mix right there. And this right here, the bigger screen is the free do it yourself, which is actually two teaspoons of black paint. Or sorry, two tablespoons of black paint into a quart of white paint. And that over there is the peanut butter mix, which is basically um, four teaspoons, sorry, two, four tablespoons of black, uh, Christmas glitter, and gold or silver, it's up to you. 
and a teaspoon of flour. Actually, more flour you put in the thicker the paint gets in. So I put it in about maybe about half a cup. That's why mine was so thick. And for those of you wondering what that thick powder substance looks like, I'll show you. Here we go. Got some of it where I threw it in the trash. Yeah, look how thick it is. Ugh, yeah. Extra creamy. Extra creamy. Extra creamy. Actually, like I said, they use this for spackle. The more, the more thicker you make this in, you can use it as a form of spackle for spackling your walls and stuff like that. That's all. No trick to use when you use paint. It's a painter's trick. Add some flour into it. People do it when they go to art school. Do you want to stiffen it up? You know what I mean? Especially if you want your artwork to stand out, to have a little more ridges to it. If you're doing a mountainside, and you want the mountainside to stand up, you can feel the texture of it. Yeah, that's all you do. I'm trying to find me a sponge. So I can kind of smooth this out a bit. Where are my sponges at? Oh, what's the sponges on here? Oh, there we go. There's my sponges. Choosy mother's choose and Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. So move it in. That's fine. Told you. They all react the same way. I can tell you the ingredients on how to make that. It reacts the same way. See right there, I smoothed it in. See it's a little darker right there. I touch this on my screen. Oh heck no! <laughs> Shoot! You think I would put this? On? No. Oh heck no! More on my screen. Cheat and put it against my screen later on when it dries. So I'll take some of the time. We we'll use this on my screen. All right. We'll take the uh, the peanut butter. Look on it's the peanut butter. Four K peanut butter because it's so thick. We're gonna take some of this out. We're gonna paint it up on a sample sheet. And we're going to put this against my screen, right? The thick paint. Look how thick this stuff is. Yeah, and this is just basically flour. This is flour, a couple of teaspoons of flour, um, four tablespoons of uh, four tablespoons of black, um, some of the glitter, frosty glitter. I think it's either making gray or gold. It didn't make a difference which one you put in. And then you want to basically uh, put in um, uh, some white and gray paint. That's all it is. You need some thick peanut butter. Like, hmm, you're hungry? You want something to eat? Mm, open your mouth. There you go. <laughs> that's all it is right there. And it reacts the same way. This rain's wet, that's all. I know I'm getting so much hate on this video. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to disable the hate disable on this video because you got to disable it. So I'm going to leave it on. I want to see how much, how many, how many crow boys are upset over this. I'm going to leave it on just for that purpose. I hope I get like 60, 70,000 hates on this because I want that on this. I want to see exactly how many crow boys got upset over this. Man, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's absolutely crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just rambling on. Yeah, it's funny. I might be rambling on, but I'm showing you everything right there from the door. You can watch it for yourself. I'm telling you right now, I feel sorry for somebody who bought that personal mix a few minutes ago and just saw this demonstration. And he'll probably go, sooner or later he's going to go, well, I'll make his product too. Oh, good luck with that. I'd like to see that one happen. That means you'll have to pass every demonstration we do.
And we do quite a lot of demonstrations on one product. One screen paint can have up to 30 different forms of demonstrations on it. it means you would have to pass every single one of those demonstrations. And if you can't pass any of those demonstrations, you don't have my product. But I can make yours easy because your demonstrations are simple. All I got to do is paint the screen, throw a high power projector on it, and that's it. And I'm done in a dark environment. I'm done. My demonstrations are done. But you won't pass any of ours. Your stuff can't even pass our demonstrations alone. Now I'm trying to make it, make our stuff. Nah. And I told you, if you stayed in your lane and mind your own business. And if you came out with that Cinemax, Betamax, HBO Max, whatever screen paint you made, at the end of the day, man, if you would have just never stuck our screen in there, I wouldn't have to come at you like this. Just mind your own business. That's all you got to do. Make your product, make your money, be happy, mind your own business. Yeah, but you can't mind your own business. So then I got to go and I got to order your product. And then I got to show online that not only am I trying to order your product, but you canceled every last order that went through, which means you're terrified of it being over here. So me peeking around in your videos found a video demonstration where you were showing people how to make it for free. I think, what the freak? Why am I paying for this and going through this? I could just make whatever I want. So I made about two gallons of your product downstairs. And you can't get mad at me because it's your video showing people how to make it. Spoons in that. Or five teaspoons in that. And next you know they're going to hit your UV because UV pretty much is around that area. And then next you know they're going to be adding glitter into it and... This and that into it and that into it. And next you know, someone's going to have your product redesigned, remade, and they're going to sell for probably cheaper and put you out. I don't know. Who does that? And you, the minute you started selling your product, you should have removed that video. So why would I sit there... And they're not really frustrated. It's really funny for me that you're, you're canceling orders from us because it just shows basically you're terrified. But now I can just make as much as I want. Because it's just basically white paint and a couple of teaspoons. So if I'm doing it, keep in mind, it's a quart. So if a quart, if you're doing a quart and a quart is one, and for, every two, for every, every one quart, it's two teaspoons, you just multiply your teaspoons. So if it's a gallon, you know what I mean? It's actually, you know, it's eight. That's all you're doing. Just multiplying it. That's it. There we go. We got a gallon already made already. And then the curious part was to see, okay, I wonder how close this would come to a personal mix. Your personal mix is right there in the center of that screen right there. The paint that we just made, which is actually our own little mix right there, it's got flour in it. Just to let you know, we put flour in it to thicken it up. I put flour in there and I put a couple more teaspoons. I did put Christmas glitter in there. Uh, that's mine right there, which is actually kind of still wet. Right here, in the center of yours, and right here in the screen, there's your personal mix right there. So I bet you that, that Cinemax... And like I said, I wouldn't have cared less if you made it, but you put my 12 in there, so now I got it. Now I'm in your back door again. That Cinemax, I guarantee you, probably would match a Frankenstein. It would probably come close to matching a Frankenstein or probably a personal mix. Because you're not going to see any difference. And you can sit there and say, oh, you want to see a difference in my product. Well, yeah, you can see a difference. Just watch me take a gray screen and throw it into a black screen. The black screen whoop, became one with the screen. Took your UV mix, didn't put it, my, put it in front of my gray screen. My gray screen, whoop, made your screen disappear. Put on my black screen, whoop, made it disappear. Black silver pulled a higher contrast than your gray screen. Took your personal mix, put it against my black screen, and my black screen was able to maintain a white level high enough where you didn't turn my screen black. But yet, I can blend your screens together with no problem. But I'm not going to go as far as in that bare silver screen. Like I said, that's going too far. I'm not bothering on that level. That's just going too far. I was just out of curiosity would see what happens if I basically just took the free mix and mixed it, actually put it next to the personal mix. How close would it come to blending in? Or maybe a white sheet of paper, which I'm a little curious about that. Well, I already did the white sheet of paper, but I'm going to do that one again.
I'm curious. This right here is my white shelf that I had upstairs. I wonder if I put my white shelf, my white my shelf right here, right there. How close would my white shelf come to your screen, and would it show a better and better image? Your white, the white shelf. So that's my shelf from my kitchen. I pulled that out so I can put bigger boxes in there. That's my white shelf. Right there. Let's add something with some color in that. We took the wrong one, don't we? Let's open one that. Let me go find a bunch of them real quick. sheet of paper and let's stick this right here. So get out of that one. And we got a white sheet of paper up there. This right here is a gray piece of foam. What would happen if we take a gray piece of foam and we put it up against there? What would happen? We get a better difference? Red screen? Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. See, Crow? You see what I'm doing here? This is what I have to go through with my black screens. You can go check my archives if you want. I got demonstrations of me painting black screens next to mine, as in black paint, spray paint, material, black alcohol. I gotta throw that stuff all up against my screen because I gotta see if my screen's gonna produce a higher white level. I don't show contrast, it's your white levels. So I'm doing the same thing to you on how I do to my screens. And if you don't believe me, you can go back and check and see those demonstrations for yourself. Let's see how the gray screen, the gray screen has any improvement. We'll put that right there. That's a gray screen. That's a gray piece of foam that I had downstairs in my basement. Is that to test? Um, we made a lighter gray screen paint to see how that would react. I'll tell you the truth, the gray foam is producing a better contrast level. If you look at that up close. How much better that looks. Cool, you may have some competition. That great foam looks pretty good. Let me move it next to your screen and see what happens. We can get that white this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. We are gonna just right pull this out of here. foam that's that um, foam you get from hobby shops and stuff like that you get it from over at uh what's say what Joann's has that stuff that's what it is
Now, you know why that phone wouldn't do well on our screen? Because our screen would blend that with no problem because that screen is actually lighter than your um, UV mix and we can blend your UV mix. We can blend into that screen. And on top of that, we can pull contrast that that screen couldn't even touch. But it blends into yours. It actually doesn't blend. Yours actually produces a little better than yours. And that is foam. Right there. See the contrast in it? See the contrast at the bottom? Right there. See how dark the blues are? Compared to the personal mix and compared to the uh, the uh, the free mix. Now, if you can get a sheet of that in 100 inches, you're good. You're really good if you get a sheet of that for 100 inches. But they don't make it in 100 inches, which they don't. They make it only in that size only. Now, that was brought for us, like I said, for basically testing ourselves against gray screens. But it's also for a surface because we we're going to coat that and use it as a wallpaper screen. It would have been spongy, easy to fold up. It didn't crack with the material, which is good. So we we're going to make a screen made out of foam, which means you can take it and you can roll it up. You can bend it, whatever you want to do. And it would just come back to its original shape every single time. But the problem is trying to get that surface in a 4x8 or larger is impossible. They don't make it that size. You would have to buy the machinery to do it, and it's quite costly. Can you imagine that, having a Nerf kind of screen that you can just ball up anything you want, soaking in water and everything, and still produce an image off of it? Wouldn't that be cool? Shipping costs would be insanely cheap. I can just shove it into a tube and be done with it. But it didn't happen. This idea is going through my head. All right, let's see if we can change the video to something else to the fish and see what that phone does. Sticks that you can basically change the colors on. And I gotta get one, I gotta get a case for these. These things drive me crazy. I gotta mix it up. Just had that in my hand. Literally. Meanwhile, my squirrel's like, where are the freak? I'm about to give them extra food for being late. You're about there. That's a crow. That's an actual crow in my yard, not the crow. An actual crow in my yard. I know for a fact that, I'll find it, I know for a fact that the Frankenstein was supposed to be ambient light rejection. Oh yeah, I'll test your ambient light rejection on that one. Oh yes, I will. Outside. We'll test that one out. I'll test your ambient light rejection.
this is the story of my life. This is my stuff all the time in here. Now, what I'm thinking about doing, once the 15 is up and going, I'm thinking about getting one of those pop-up gazebos for the backyard. Because I got that big backyard out there. I mean, some of us were the squirrels, but I want to set up a projection screen inside the gazebo. That's one with the netting on top of it and everything. Let's see if we can get a 15 to fire off at 12 o'clock in the afternoon inside of the gazebo. Two big cats just came up with our big cats from me. Where is the human? Where is the freaking human? Where is the That's that one. That's that one. Hey, Natalie's down to the basement.
there, it's not there. It's not right here, but I got a spare today. I got this crazy idea. I've been decorating every part of the house. I think I'm going to turn the attic into a command center. I mean, give it, give it, I'm a bit of a tech hit here, right? So the attic upstairs only has two windows, right? Basically, I can put in any form of camouflage mesh to make those windows like they disappear. But also, too, I'm thinking about actually on the, one of those sills, I'm going to build a charging station for drones. So I'm going to have drones go in. Go around the property and come back into the charging station upstairs there's enough power for me to run anything i want and i can build multiple servers all kinds of anything i want up there when i thought about it i can make it put tvs all over the place i can make it the ultimate command center this would be cool because i can operate drones throughout my property this is all practice stuff everything i'm doing right now is practice because the property i want has four acres on it and i have to be able to cover four acres the best way to cover four acres are drones which are pretty cool. I just have a, have a docking station where they can go and self-charge. So I'm actually doing all this research online for that. It's going to be freaking cool. So anyway, you'll see when I get done working on some of it. I'm going to get a couple of drones. So I'm pretty sure my neighbors are going to be kind of free, freaked out watching drones come up to the top of the house and dock and charge and just take off again. But it's going to be pretty cool to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something pretty cool with that. I'm telling you, with that uh, that projector mapping, you can camouflage stuff and make stuff disappear. And it's really interesting to work with. That stuff is really interesting. I'm actually working on basically uh, developing screen paint for uh, camouflage, for basically allowing the projector to make something mask and disappear. That mapping stuff is beautiful, what you can do with it. But that's something like that. Those are the projects I'm working on the side. Always working on something different. I'm going to figure out what the remote control people. You're walking about the house. Lost my remote control. I don't know where I did it. I lost the remote control to my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacom? My other whatchamacom. I've lost it. In the demonstration, I've lost the remote control. I don't know what to do with it. Let me exit things in the weirdest places. Oh, guess what? I found it inside of my sneaker. That's messed up. I told you I put things in weird places. It's one of the bad habits I have in my life. I'm supposed to put my sneakers on to go feed my squirrels. And I actually put them, put the, uh, right in my sneakers. Let's see. Let's go with the, um, let's go with some other, let me see. I want a demonstration that's been used too many times to count. Not 
I wonder what Tron would look like on this. Let's see what two of Tron would look like on these screens. I can't eat this food. what we'll do we'll put in uh, so we have plenty enough video I gotta go feed my squirrels right now I'm gonna put in a one hour video of, of 4k I'm not gonna take me one hour but this is so I can go get this done and take care of these jokers because it's uh it's time for neat and they're probably sitting outside and saying where the freak is the human so I go feed my little monsters real quick I showed off that video on YouTube I had a few people uh, emailing me asking about if I'm going to put cameras out there so you can watch the animals. I am going to put some cameras out there for them. You want to find boring stuff to do on YouTube? I actually found a video where you can actually watch for, watch watch paint dry. Just looking for random stuff that's boring stuff. You can watch paint dry. I've done that a few times. <laughs> actually, we all done that. Anytime I take a, 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 a whatchamacallit, a, um, a fan and stick it in front of a screen, you're literally just watching the paint dry. So we've all done that one already. All right, so we got right here, that's all wildlife. All right, um, no, I watch all wildlife, dude. There we go. We can do this one right here. This is perfect. So for those of you just popping in, I don't know what that's all about. Those just popping in, we have the, um, we did the knockoff projector already. Uh, we're right now, we're doing something different. Oh, that's interesting. Now look at that. Look at that. That right there is the foam, the gray foam. I told you. I wonder how much gray that is to the rest of those screens over there. Of course, because it's being hit with the black, it's pulling a contrast level. It's not going to match a black screen, trust me. But anyway, it's doing much better than these gray screens. So what we have here on the screen, this sloppy mess right there, that's my peanut butter mix. Uh, for those of you who don't know that, it's flour. Yes, yeah, flour in it. Flour, four tablespoons of black, some glitter, and um, um, the uh, white paint. Right here is a um, gray piece of, I think it's foam or something I found in the basement. Uh, the big screen over here all around this is uh, Crow's free do-it-yourself mix that he shows you how to do for free. And then the screen right there next to it is the personal mix right there. Okie doke. Okie doke. We're all caught up. Just in case before I run downstairs, I'm like, what the freak is going on here? So let me get my sneakers on because I can hear the crows in the backyard. Like, where the freak is the human? <sighs> Not to be rude here, but every time I do one of these demonstrations, I bet you a hundred bucks he does a demonstration on electronics or something, some kind of review on a camera or some kind of video upgrade or something to avoid the, the issues of. Someone's going to ask him sooner or later, hey, can you put that next to that personal mix? Because I'm telling you, Red Wagon Syndrome. Some of y'all got four or five wagons. Uh, yeah, yeah, we done. We keep my 
Oh, they're both downstairs from yesterday, that's why. I'm going to have to edit this video, not edit video, sorry, wrong choice of words. We've got to edit the title to uh, knock off projector screens and um, screen paint, uh, what am I going to call it, screen paint, um, screen paint stack ups, screen paint stack ups, we do that, screen paint stack ups, that's what I call it, knock off projection screens and screen paint stack knock offs, no, 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 because there are my technologies in there. All right, no, we do screen paint comparisons. Yes, we do screen paint comparisons and knock off projectors. Let me get that, that works for me. So let's get the foam out of here. Get the foam out of here. Let's get the foam out of here. And we'll take the personal mix, stick it right here. We have that right in the center. And we got the personal mix and the free do-it-yourself mix. The free do-it-yourself mix is actually shown on his channel. And on our channel, it shows you how to make that mix for free. And that mix is actually two tablespoons of black paint mixed into one quart of white paint. White paint can be flat. It can be uh, satin. Uh, I wouldn't make it gloss if I were you. If you make it gloss, what's going to happen is it's going to cause hot spotting on the screen. Now, I've already made about a gallon of that already, that free mixture, that free mix. I made about a gallon for myself. And with five gallons of it, I'm going to paint a 180 inch screen, stick it outside, and then I'm going to put a huge X across it with our technology. Basically, that's wrong, that's wrong. They can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Uh, we'll paint half of it. That's what we'll do. As I said before, anytime you want to, you can go to my website and you can place an order for my screen paint if you want to do a review on our product. And just to let you know that uh, it's going to look kind of bad for you if we're letting you get our screen paint and you won't let us buy yours to you keep canceling our orders, which means it clearly shows you have something to hide. So if anybody gets that, um, what do you call it? That What's that paint called? If anybody gets that, uh, the Betamax, uh, Cinemax, anybody gets that Cinemax screen paint, hey, I'll give you a gallon of the blue for free. 
And then what you can do is, because I know how your mind thinks, you can contact them and get some of the blue for free. Because since you won't pay for it, you can have it for free. Heck, you know what? I'll tell you something. This is how much confidence I have in my blue technology. And keep in mind, it is going to have a very heavy patent attached to it, which means if you mess up and you touch that stuff, you tamper with it in any way whatsoever, sue your pants off you, like I'm telling you right now. So you can understand that. I got a patent attorney thing in. So just so you know, I'll give you a free cord of that for a free cord of that Cinemax, just for the fun of it all. Because I'm hoping you mess with it. And my attorneys are already waiting for you to mess with it. It's going to have a very heavy patent. As a matter of fact, I'll send you a copy of my uh, my patent detail information so you can see that it does. It has a legit patent. As a matter of fact, I'll have my attorney give you a call. And you can talk to him personally. He'll tell you exactly what will happen to you if you do this, that, and the other. He'll give you a list of rules of what happens if you tamper with that. Because that's not going to be like your everyday screen paint you can play around with. This is going to have a patent attached to it. So he will call you and talk to you if you pick up the phone and he will explain to you what's going to happen to you if you do anything within these guidelines that violate that patent or patent pending, what will happen to you. So you know how to keep it clean. You know what a chemical ball is, Crow? You know what that is? It's a device. I've seen this in a company. It's a device that they drop in paint. That device has a number on it, and that number tells exactly whatever chemicals were dropped in there. Every time they drop that ball in there, that same number has to come up every single time. That lets them know if the product has been tampered with or anything from COVID. That number comes up incorrect. He may request you to drop one of those in there. So I'm not worried about it. I know the product is pretty much amazing. What we're more concerned about is the shicey, sneaky stuff that you like to do as in mixing stuff with black paint, doing fake demonstrations. That's pretty much it. But I'm kind of hoping to do because like I told you, it's going to have a patent attached to it. Take it as a joke as you want. I'll have my patent attorney give you a call and he'll tell you exactly what will happen to you if you tamper with it. And I will expedite you down here to Philadelphia and we'll prosecute you. But you can have it for free. Just to let you know. And please, 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 please take it as a joke. I want you to please take it as a joke. You got a nice collection, buddy. See, he already has one lawsuit about to hit him because what y'all don't know is, you know that Crystal Edge diamond I have on my webpage? It has a copyright on it, attached to it. You know that Crystal, Crystal Edge technology screen paint we developed, we made? That had my label sitting on the side of it where he took it down to Home Depot and he tried to make the product? But what he did was he had covered some of it with some paint. That doesn't protect you, buddy. I don't know where you got that information from. You need to talk to an attorney. If you show any parts of my label, I could sue for that. And the fact that you took that container down there, trying to make it at Home Depot and Lowe's, knowing it had a copyrighted attached to that, and that product did have a patent pending attached to it. Just so you know, yeah. As a matter of fact, I emailed Pro that information, so he's quite aware of it. Now what I'm doing here, you couldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole, you know why? Because nothing here you have is basically copyrighted, patent, or none of that. You know what a patent search is? Yeah, I do a patent search on people's products before we actually start testing this, that, and the other. So we know exactly what we're dealing with and what kind of guidelines we have to follow so we don't get sued. You don't have a patent on any of your stuff. No copyrights, nothing. Nothing on your labels, nothing at all. Not a thing. Also know for a fact that you can't actually get me on a product that you technically showed everybody how to make for free. So I can make as much as this as I want. Now, I never called you in my, any of my demonstrations because, like I said, I could easily call you the S word, but I'm not going to call you that word because I'll let people decide for themselves. You're looking at someone who just charged you for paint and you literally showed you how to make it for free on his channel. I don't know what you call that. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know what in the world you call that. That's bold. That's about as bold as you can get. And you're watching me blend both of them together. Yeah, but all that crazy stuff you've been doing, I don't. you don't see me video taking your product down to Home Depot and making it? Uh -uh. You've never seen one video of me taking your product down to Home Depot and making your product. 
Like I said, you got a nice collection. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna have my attorney bring up my copyrights for that Crystal Edge Technology Screen logo that you found on your channel. Took down the Home Depot. Keep in mind, don't bother deleting the video. All you forward. For every company they get involved in, like Black Diamond or big companies like that, there are guidelines within those guidelines that I have to follow. Certain screens that I work with do not work with ultra short throws, so I cannot use those screens with ultra short throws. Certain screens cannot be used outside. Have you ever seen me take any one of those sample sheets outside? I can't. Those screens were never developed for outside. They were designed for indoor use only. So that's where I have to use them at. In order for me to use their technology outside, I have to go research and find out what screens they have are outside to do the demonstrations outside sheets that can't be used with certain calibers of projectors some don't work well with 2000 lumens they have to work with a projector higher than 2000 lumens so i have to read through all those specification sheets to make sure i'm doing the demonstrations fair and by the book when i do my demonstrations it's both of our screens in the same room on the same projector in the same environment i don't do anything different than that i don't put extra light on your side of the screen i don't mix your product with nothing whatsoever i do the unboxing to open up the can i put the paint and that's it i do it right from the door everything by the book so you can see it and i can see it but you on the other hand you do things a little differently you're sneaky and because of the things you have done in the past as and call me all kinds of nasty names you know, that's something you do uh, taking the products down to get them made, do all kinds, just the dirty stuff you've been doing. That slander nonsense of calling me a scammer, you got a nerve to call me a scammer after this nonsense I just uncovered on you? Yeah, the fact that anytime somebody, it doesn't bother me when somebody comes into the room and calls me a, a scammer or something nasty. What it does, it just tells me at the end of the day that my attorneys are getting forward all this nonsense. So you made a rumor come to life. You took my company's name and you slandered it. You took my name and you tried to tarnish it. And I got proof of it. I got proof of every email, every text message, every video you ever shot. I got proof of everybody that's ever came into my chat, my channel and called me a scammer, a racial slur, a theft threat. I got proof of that, all that. Go get some jail time, buddy. I'm dead serious with you. I'm going to sue the daylights out of you. I let this nonsense go for five years. Oh, yeah. Trust me. The only reason why you didn't get hit this year because of COVID. That's why. That's the only reason why. I got enough evidence on you to bury or either choke a horse. And you got a nerve to call me a scammer and you're charging people for screen paint that they can literally make for free off your channel. This isn't something that I made. It'd be different if I made this product and put it out there and say, look, this is what I made. I made this product just like him. That would have been wrong. No. This is something that you advertised on your channel showing people how to make this product and then turn around and then charge them for the product. And now I have your free product and I have the product I paid for performing and doing the exact same thing with no problem. Look how much close they look alike. They look exactly alike. Yeah. Scammer. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go feed my squirrels. Y'all enjoy.
tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry there for losing my cool man, but good man. Like I said, look at this man. <laughs> oh man, wow. Yeah, looking at that right there, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I got a right to be pissed off. This joker man got on my he's something else. You got a nerd to call me a scammer. Look at this mess. Reason why you cancel my orders left and right. You figure I can figure out how your stuff is made. And yeah, I can figure it out. I know exactly, I can tell exactly how the Frankenstein is already made already. And that new Cinemax, or whatever it's called. That's the beginning of it. This is the beginning of it all. Every form of technology has a beginning base. This is why when we develop stuff, one of the key things I learned, when you develop something, never, ever, ever use the same formulas twice. Never. That's a big mistake. Never do that. Because if somebody figures out the first one, it's a stair step to all the rest of them. Each one of those formats we develop, they all are designed a different way, constructed a different way from the ground up. I make sure any time I do that when I develop a new formula, it's always different. There's nothing in there that's shared from one from another. They all have their own identity. Why do you think they react differently? They don't blend together. They react differently. Black screens can produce white levels, can read white levels. Uh, gray screens can produce contrast levels. Blue is, like I said, it's a freaky screen. It's in its own different world of environment. But yeah, we don't, we don't, that's dangerous. And keep in mind, the reason why you shouldn't do it, because say if a company comes along and says, hey, look, um, I want to buy your product from you. Well, if they want to buy your product from you, they're going to make you sign a piece of paper saying that, hey, look, you can never, ever, ever use this product or make this product ever again because we own the rights to it. So that means pretty much you just sold out the rights of your technology. So I learned basically, and I've sold a few of my stuff before for a good amount of money. I learned to make sure that anything that I design does not share the exact same code as the others. That way, if I sell one, I can continue to make money because they just have one of my ideas. They don't just have to, it can't match them together. It's a completely different code, it's a different treatment chemical. So I make sure whatever I make, they do not share the same chemical code just in case if one of them sells. You're always supposed to do that. But if you're making them where they're all off the same base, and pretty much I guarantee you that all his screen paints are off the same base, black and white paint, because there you go right there. You know how old this video was? You know, old, this video was pretty old, where I got the where I, where I saw the pre-paint being made. So if that matched the up-to-date screen just now, that shows you they all share the same identical recipe, which is black and white paint. The more black and white paint, more black paint they put into white, the darker it becomes. They control the tint, they control the contrast, everything by adding in how many teaspoons or how many tablespoons, more or less. They add in less, they get a lighter screen. They add in more, they get a darker screen. They have just between to get a mid screen. So, like I said, I couldn't care about making whatever, but I guarantee somebody watching this video got some ideas. Because they're probably right now ordering right now white and black paint right now. And if you paint that down the side of your screen and it basically matches, well, whoop de do. We do. Who are you? Well, it's squirrels, eh? They're done. Yeah, but yeah, I got it right here. So we did a lot of dirt. Ugh. You got an answer for this nonsense. How close that comes to looking like that screen. Look at that. Look how close that comes to looking to that. This is where the light's on. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Whoever bought this paint, you got red wagon. You got red wagon. Yes, you did. You should know what the term is red wagon is. Bottom line is somebody basing you selling somebody the same product over and over again. They just code it just a little differently. 
sold you a wagon for $107, $104, jumped over your gate, took the wagon, sold it to somebody else, code a little different, sold it for $104. Like I said, he's going to argue his case. He's going to sit there and say, well, the Cinemax is different. It's different from any other paint. Well, you know what? You wouldn't have a problem doing a side-by-side -side with some of that stuff over there, wouldn't you? Or making this into a side-by-side. -side. And it should exactly look exactly the same. And I think why, because anybody can make it. He put it out there. It isn't like something he can make and basically tamper with his own stuff to make it darker, to make it look different. Anybody can make it. It's simple. It says two teaspoons, two, two tablespoons of flat black. And white paint, that's all it is. No glitter. No uh, nothing in there special. That's it. Look, it's pulling the same contrast. That's her peanut butter paint right there. That's the peanut butter paint mix. It's not peanut butter, it's the thickest peanut butter. They're pulling the same contrast level. No contrast. Well, we're gonna let this run for a while. I'm gonna let this, this is gonna stand for a while. I'll let it run, we'll get something to eat. Now, I wonder who that could be right now calling my phone. Hmm. I can tell you who it is. You ever notice when he does a demonstration against myself, how dirty he does it? Uh, you never hear me calling his phone? You never hear his phone constantly ringing in the background? Because I know my technology works. I don't care. But there he is calling again. I wants to call me and scream at me if it happened. I'm not, I, don't, I don't pick up the phone with him. I said, keep going. He'll call back. And mind you, that is our peanut butter mix right there. I just made it right there. Look how, look how close that is next to his screen. That's the paint we just made, just mixing flour. Mind you, just making dirt, just junky paint, flour, glitter, uh, about six teaspoons or four teaspoons, six or four teaspoons of of uh, uh, black paint that was just some crap we just mixed together and just threw it on the screen as a matter of fact there's mine right there i just rubbed it in the middle of the screen right there see that little mark right there that's mine i rubbed it in the middle of the screen right there with a sponge and it has flour in it flour not these flowers but actual flour so we got flour we got a couple of teaspoons black in it we got some christmas glitter thrown into it and we got some black and white paint because the base of the technology will always be black and white. You can mix, but you can put anything in it. As long as it's black and white, it's going to react the same way. I can put sugar in there, it's still going to react the same way. I can put anything in there, it's still going to react the same way. Where in the world is Carmi San Diego? There's our paint right there. Because it's got that flower and it makes it brittle. That's why. You put flour and paint, you know what that does, right? Don't do that. What happens when you put flour and paint, it makes it real thick. Like you can put starch in it, kind of makes it real thick, makes it like a paste. It'll, it'll take days for it to dry. I mean, days for it to dry. Don't do that. Well, let's just show you where my stuff is at right there on the screen. And there's it right there. All dried right there. There's that flower paint right here. That's right there. It's that flower paint. I 
I get from the projector, as you can see, there it is right there. That's the paint we made right there. Nice and close to that personal mix in that screen. I want you to get real close and see exactly you got Red Wagon. There's a white sheet of paper right there. But it's different. The mix. It's not the same. I know I got a lot of heats on this video. You sh I should. I just outed this boy. Look at the white piece of paper. Right next. That, that screen toy right there, that's our trash paint right there. This the paint we just made. I'm not even going to basically block the ratings on this. I'm going to keep the ratings the way they are. I want all the crew boys to come in and put their hatred on this video. You ever heard in the Bible where it says whatever sits in the dark comes out into the light? You ever heard that term? All evil has to be shown in the light. One way or another, it has to be shown in the light. Didn't really dawn on me all that time that when I had that personal mix, that personal mix has been in my possession for a while. It's been in my possession, and keep in mind for those who say, oh, that's not it. I have unbo unbox unboxing videos on every freaking thing I buy. You know, time stamped. Yes, it is. But I had it for, I had it for about a year. I've had that for about a year. No, I had it in 2018. In 2018, I had it for about two years. Two years, in the two years I've had that, and that video has been floating on its channel for at least a good maybe 2015, maybe some amount of time, it never dawned on me to put them both together. And the only reason why I thought to put them together, because when I tried to buy his screen paint and he canceled my order three times in a row, I said, okay, well, we can't make any more of it. We don't have it. I can't come on say hey this is crow's personal mix i don't have any more of his personal mix it's empty it's gone if i make his mix and say i have it i'll be lying to you because i don't have it i don't have this ub i'm out of his ub mix i don't have any more of it left so we ordered more of it and he canceled the orders so we don't have any more we have only what we have on our sample sheets and that's it that's all we have See? There's a container right there. That's his signature right there. That is his container. Empty. No more left. So the only thing I have left is what's on that sample sheet. And that's all I need. Just like your personal mix, it's empty. I don't have any more of that, but that's all I need. Because all I needed was just that one sample to find that video that showed people how you were selling it, giving it away for free. And how to turn around and make the very same ingredients that you showed me how to make to put it against a mix that I paid for and have look exactly alike. So I can't honestly come on here and make your product in any way whatsoever by saying that, hey, look, I got a personal mix. I never, I'm telling you right here on camera, we had it, but we're, we have it on a sample sheet and it's right there. We don't have any more of it left. That's why I ordered more. That's why the orders got canceled. He didn't want to come in here. 
But I can tell you this much, as for that do-it-yourself Metallica mix, I can make as much as that as I want. I can make five gallons, 20 gallons of it. I can test it against anything I want. I don't ever have to pay for this or pay for that. I don't have to worry about basically orders being canceled or denied or none of that nonsense. I don't have to go through that because you showed me how to make it for free. And now, since I can make it for free, it matches your personal mix per per perfectly. Now, keep it wrong before y'all start thinking, well, if that's the case, that means you can make as much personal mix as you want. I could, but I can't because basically that is not personal mix. That is Metallica mix. That's what he has it labeled as, and that's what I said. It will stay that way. Anytime I make that paint, it will be made as a Metallica mix as he has it advertised. No more, no less. That's how you do things honestly, Crow, by the book. Because I can make tons of that stuff and call it your personal mix easily. But I'm not going to do that because that'll be wrong. This is what you market it as. We're not marketed, but this is how you get in the way as. And that's how it will stay. Exactly that way. That's how you think it's fair. Now somebody else, that's them. They can just go in and say, well, why would I pay for that personal mix when I can just make this free mix and do it myself? Or they might get the idea to experiment with it. Because it seems like this is your base. It's your base, base starting point of your product. Which means it's a stair step. Which means, like I said, add more black in it, get a lighter, add, get a darker screen. Add less black in it, get a lighter screen. In between, somewhere along the line, they're going to bump into a Frankenstein or they're going to bump to any one of the other screen paints. I just can't understand to the life of me, business to business, why you left that video up there. The minute you started selling your product, you should have removed that video. All I want to do is an honest review against your product, Crow. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Just an honest review. Here comes right now. I'm showing your product, blending into your own product. No tricks, no mirrors. This is your product on your product. And I say, don't get me wrong, it works. It produces beautiful colors, as you can see. It doesn't have much for contrast level. If I stick this against a black screen, keep in mind, there's no black technology land against it. I look at black technology against this. We already seen that demonstration. Our screen is going to outproduce it in color. It's going to outproduce it in contrast. The white levels are going to be good, but not enough to make our screens look dark where you can see them. So our screens can go toe to toe with this with no problem. But like I said, to anybody else desiring a screen like this, they're going to basically be able to make it now. Because you should have basically knocked that video out. That is your fault. Down. Okay, I'm, I'm, probably not, I'm probably not the first one that thought about this already. I'm pretty, pretty sure that video you have had something like 30,000 hits on it. So if it had 30,000 hits on that video, wouldn't you think out of that 30,000 and climbing that somewhere along the line would someone would have realized that you were selling your product to go back and check out that video? Some people become too arrogant for their own good. They, they become too arrogant for their own good. Now, the fact that, like I said, I had your uh, personal mix for two years, and that video was floating around. I've seen the video a few times. I could have did this two years ago. After all the dirty stuff you did to me, I could have did this two years ago, and I didn't do it. Because two years ago, you weren't doing a lot of the dirty stuff you're doing now. But everybody has a point, Crow, when they get tired. I told you when you started messing around with that 12, mind your business. And you didn't want to mind your business. This is going to be your outcome right here. This may even be your downfall. Now, who's to say that somebody won't take this same mix and put it against your Frankenstein or start matching it against your product? It might be a good thing for you. It might be a very good thing for you. It might be an opportunity to, for you to work harder and make a better product. That's what it could be. You can take two things out of this. You can either let this crush you and destroy you, or you can basically work harder to make a more advanced, better product. 
That's what you can do with it. Because I told you one thing, when Black Diamond came against me with that whole lawyer thing, oh yeah, I had two things. I could fold up in a ball and let them run over top of me, or I can design something that basically could basically advance their technology. And I, I really do believe my blue and black could easily take on their screen with no problem. So this is a learning experience for you. Take it that way. You're just going to scrap everything you have and start over from new. I did it already. Oh, for those of you who don't know that story about the contract, you know, we had a big contract when my company first started off. And the company, and people overseas tried to take my product from me. Under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint, they literally tried to take my product from me. And they were doing all kinds of marketing and stuff like that, things I didn't know about. You know, I was young, I didn't know any better. I signed this contract, I had a 10 year contract overseas, and I was gonna make all this money and everything, and realized these people came over for one purpose was to take my stuff from me. And they did, they tried to. They had, if you go to um, Digital One Crystal, they're calling themselves Digital One Crystal, I'm Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. And they're saying, we gotta make the the um, the, the labels look more European, and we have to do this and some of that, and slowly, bit by bit by bit, they were taking my company, I didn't see it. My orders started slowing down. They're redirecting all my orders over to them. Paid me about $10,000 when I first came in. I got all struck over 10 grand. And I was in a 10 year global contract. I was locked in. No way to get out of it. You know what I had to do? I basically started a company called uh, Digital One uh, Crystalonics. That's where Crystalonics came from. I had to delete every last or obsolete all my technology in order to develop new technology to obsolete the old technology. And they tried to take me to court on it, but they couldn't win because the paint was under a different form of code. Again, don't allow all your paints to share the same code. Lesson learned in life. So they couldn't basically get me on the fact that when they looked at the original, I had this one patent pending, and they had to match the patent pending together to see which ones were which, and they couldn't bit the paint, it match up. So I was able to design my own formula under my own new company's name, and I had to get rid of my old company to start a new company. And then I hired all the beta testers like um, Zone 708 to do demonstrations against the old stuff and basically tarnish the name of my own stuff. So I destroyed my own technology with better technology and I had to obsolete my own stuff in order to get out of a 10 year contract so they wouldn't make any money and everything they had basically went down the drain. They lost everything off of it because my product wasn't worth nothing compared to the new stuff I developed. I obsoleted my own stuff and started my company all over again. And that's why I got into black technology. Well, actually, dark, dark gray technology. Yes, sir. We did it already. That's what I learned a valuable lesson. Anytime you make a formula, it never shares the same code, not even close to the, any, any other ones. They all have the different identities. So if someone steals one, I couldn't care less. Because you'll get nothing out of it because I can turn around and I can develop, develop a completely different one, completely different from that one. You can't even copy or begin to even copy. But here, you made the mistake of basically using the same base code for every last one of your formulas. That's why a product that you probably launched this video back, what, 2015 or 2016 around that time? To a product you have now and they match? That's not good. Oh, well. Yeah, tearing me down. Don't we'll put you on the mat, Crow. Tearing me down and trying to make me look bad? Won't we'll put you on the mat. It won't. My table's filled with orders every Friday. I'm blessed that I live in a nice place and God takes care of me. I'm blessed with new ideas. All my ideas and all my technical ideas come from God. Yeah, that's an infinity pool of knowledge right there, buddy. Right now, I got a screen I'm working on called Bronze. You know what Bronze does? Bronze is the most prettiest screen when I get done with it. It's going to make, trust me, this screen's going to look so beautiful that it's going to even look better when your projector's off. Oh, it's going to be an interesting form of technology. It really is. We're gonna say copper. There's one of those in there. Can't figure out which one it is. But yeah.
I can show my advances. Like the probably right now I can show my to advance to make it better than what it is. Like a lot. Alright, okay. We've done we've all seen enough here, have we not? I would suggest you yank down that video today. you need to do is you need to yank down that video you need to come up with a new idea on how to engineer a new formula because that cinema max i'm looking at it looks a heck of a lot like a frankenstein and very close to a personal mix i guarantee you you need to develop something completely different because it looks the same it does and it's only a matter of time before somebody now is going to take this free mix and they're going to match it against it so now you got a bit of a problem there so if I were you, I would just, I would just scrap and develop something completely different. Maybe develop black technology. I don't know. That might work for you. That'd be a good feel for you to get into black technology. Funny early Christmas gave gift, make it yourself, screen paint. Dude, you couldn't even begin to touch my technology on no level whatsoever. You couldn't even pass any of my demonstrations. Good luck trying to knock out all 30 demonstrations at 100% because that's what it takes for what our screens have to go through. 30 demonstrations on just about every form of projector, and you don't even own half of my projectors. But good luck with that one. Because you would have to match every single demonstration with a 100%. And you, you don't even do that with your own stuff. But good luck on that one. We've seen those demonstrations before. He's tried to make my product multiple times. Didn't work. Can't get mad about it. How in the world are you going to get mad at me? It's your video. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing ever. You're mad at me because I show people a video that you put out showing how to make your product and it's your house you making the making the paint oh you're freaking hilarious but good luck on trying to make our product good luck as a matter of fact i'll give you one month to complete our product and be able to make it and to complete all 30 all demonstrations to the t just like mine there's your challenge right there you got another one stacked on top of you you call yourself making our product. I want to see the exact same product done in our exact same environments. And I want to see every last test we do done to a T. Perfect. Without flaw. And let's see, let's see if you can complete that in one month. Instead of you worrying about you should be re re redesigning a new formula. That's what you should be doing. I got no fear over that. Please. Can't even basically keep up. Oh my goodness. This is what gets me just funny about this guy. You can give out a free gift. You can't even figure out how to make our stuff. I can make all your products right now if I want to. I know your base formula. You posted it. Mr. Crow, it can't be that stupid. Look at that. Early gift. How to make yourself AR screen paint. So he's going to try to make our product. That's funny. Actually, you got a mistake. That's not even an ingredient. We don't use white paint in our paint. But good luck, though. We don't use any white paint. See, he's still stuck on that whole white and black paint. That's what he's stuck on. That's a shame. Wow. We don't put white paint in our paint. That's, we don't do that. You know what happens if you do that? You cloud the chemical. And keep in mind, that chemical doesn't have paint in it. I'll tell you that little secret right there. You figure that one out. You're going to have to get it to read white light. You're going to have to do all those demonstrations we do. You're going to have to do. 
but he's not going to do any of those demonstrations. So let me show you what he's mad about. So he's mad at us because he thinks we made paint. You did a video of it, of showing people how to make your own paint. And then you're mad at the people who's making your paint because you showed the video. Now, if you pull the video, I have a copy already. You can't get mad over that. It's your fault. You did it to yourself. Who sells paint and leaves a video on how to make it? See all the reviews he does on us? See right here on our screen paint? But he cancels all our orders. When we try to buy paint, he cancels orders left and right. He's got something to hide. That's why he cancels our orders. I can place an order with him right now and it wouldn't even go through. He would cancel it. Now, if he left this video up here, he's a really, I'm sorry I called somebody an idiot, but he's an idiot if he left that video up here. The fact is that noise. Oh. Somebody with their dogs walking past my house. Yeah, AR. Just think about that. And military train, okay? Let me see. Was he smart enough to pull the video? That's my boy. He got these big boy rock wallets. I want one of them dogs. Hopefully, he'll give me one of them puppies. And puppies are freaking huge. might have been smart enough and pulled the video from y'all. Didn't make a difference. We got it on our account anyway. I was think, why would you wait all this time to pull a video? But it must be true. at us for showing up uh, showing y'all his video ouch and he posted yep he removed the video You wanted to remove the video. Oh, crap. Yeah, you removed the video. Yep. In fear already. No problem, Crow. We got you. There's a video he just pulled right there.
should have pulled that video when you first started selling screen paint. You should have pulled that video right from the door the minute you started selling because someone was going to find out about it. Is that not his table? Is that not his background? Yep, yeah, made it right there. I made it right there at the table. Same thing. Now in this one, because I explained on camera, I had um I had um a teaspoon. So if you got a teaspoon, you gotta remember a tablespoon. There is three teaspoons and a tablespoon. So this right here is me painting the screening. Same product right there. I did the paint and dry right there for everybody to watch. Paint is going right there for everybody to watch. Right here. Back the board. Getting a sample sheet right there. Wish I stuck together with everybody else's sample sheets. That's the sample you'd have from uh, 2018. There's the screen I just painted. I just made it right there, right off his video. And then if that starts to dry, because I'm getting the screen to dry, let me turn it on the projector right there. So you can see it right from there. The whole demonstration live. So he's mad at me. I couldn't care less if you try to make my product. He's already tried to do it before. He tried to do that with our HD Silver. He tried to do that with our 7. He tried to do that with our 8. He failed at all the attempts he has. Because customers at the end of the day know that I'm the real deal. I'm the one that does the demonstrations. And I do demonstrations. If no one does demonstrations, like we do one over our head. So, you know, he doesn't match any of our demonstrations. He doesn't do any of our challenges. He still didn't do that challenge I gave him yesterday on basically showing the Starfield demonstration. He will not do any demonstrations of matching his own stuff with his own stuff because he knows you'll see that they're both the same thing. He doesn't do any of that. Somebody asked him a few days ago if he could test the personal mix next to the cinema mix. He ignored them. So, you know, like I said, you can't get mad at somebody because this is your own downfall. You did this to yourself. Who in the right mind keeps a video up that you basically you're selling a product and you just show how you make it? Oh, it's a, that's like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has, everybody knows Coca-Cola has one of the biggest uh, trademark secrets in history. That's like them posting on freaking Reddit on how to make their product, but they're going to sue you for basically making their product. You know how dumb that sounds right there? Yeah, but it's a secret. You're not supposed to make it. Yeah, but it's on Reddit. You're showing people how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Like, that's serious. How do you argue that one down in court? There you go. That's his paint right there. I just made it right there in the room. That's how it came up looking. Oh, come on. How dumb can you be? I can see the argument in court. No, no, Your Honor. No. He, did, he made my product, put it on YouTube, and show people how to make it, even though I have a video showing me making my product and putting it on YouTube and showing other people how to make it. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, dude. Seriously. Seriously. Well, go ahead and knock yourself out and try to show people how to make my product. I couldn't care less. That don't freaking bother me one bit at all. 
I know my product stands for something. You'd have to match all my demonstrations. You don't you don't even do demonstrations on my level. Long enough alone trying to basically make my own product. You gotta be kidding me. Good luck on that one. Let me pull that video down quick. There's this product right there leaning against the screen. Let me go back so you can see all that right there. If you don't need nothing out. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm not laughing at the fact that Kirk got he got caught. I'm laughing at the fact that his argument in court would be what his argument in court would be literally would be freaking hilarious. You don't understand. You know, he went on YouTube showing people how to make my product. Even though I had a video on YouTube showing how to make my product. Can't get mad over that. Get it to yourself. I couldn't get if I did that to myself, I couldn't get mad at other people for that. I did it to myself. It's my stupidity. I gotta jump back on this freaking Steam sale. Steam's having that sale. There's more games. Yo, I got this freaking um uh, Marvel um 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 pinball. Oh man, I freaking, I'm not a big fan of pinball, but good God, it's like 3D pinball. And man, I'm definitely gonna get more. Try to find more games like that. They got a whole bunch of different downloads on there for that particular game. But my stream is doing pretty good. And freaking this area right here, my stream always acts. I call it the porter dice section because man, nothing runs in this section at all. Come on, Ken. The freak are you talking about back there? There we go. I take forever doing stuff, boy. I run my mouth too much sometimes. Look at that right there. Boom. Right against the screen. The fan was on, so I had to go turn the fan off. Fan was getting on my nerves. I want to turn my fan off over quick. Dun, dun, dun. Now watch this. Yeah, Crow. How in the world are you going to get mad at me it was your video that you posted. I just happened to find the video, make the paint, put it against your own paint that I paid for, and they happened to blend. You got no one to be upset about or about that, but you. That is your mistake, your fault. <laughs> yeah, dude, you really have to. And I couldn't care less if you try to make my product. Go ahead and knock yourself out. I want to see all the demonstrations done too, every last one of them. If not, you're fake in the phony. There you go. There's your screen blending in right now. There it is right there. Blending in right there. Look at that. Boom. That's your screen. Blending in. You can call me a scammer. Okay. Charge people for paint they could have made for free. And it was at that, even worse, it was freaking you the one to show them how to make it for free. That's even worse. It'd be different if somebody figured out how to make your product and bottom line it and they were giving it away for free. But no, that was you. You did it yourself. Unbelievable. My business, two of my business partners contacted me today on text. They were cracking the freak up. They were like, you've got to be kidding me. Does not have. I hate, I'm not going to say what they said, but I just say the intelligent level was basically dry in that pool. It had to be. They was dying laughing. It's not to humiliate the guy. It's just basic common sense. It's kind of like saying, "Okay, these are the security codes to the missile launch. We're just going to put them on the side of a billboard right next to the missile launch silo. So basically, you know, if anybody's come along, they just have to punch in these digits right here and just launch and start a nuclear war. It's just, it's, are you seriously? That's like hiding your keys in a, in a magic rock or a hidden rock, and you have an arrow pointed where the rock is at saying, hey, if you want to break in my house and steal all my stuff, the key is right here. By the way, guard dogs are lazy. They don't do anything. Security system in the back doesn't work. Half the cameras don't even run. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're going to get mad and file a police report. Like, how do they know? I don't even think that. How did they figure it out? How did they know? They must be masterminds. Good gracious, man. You'd make a horrible Batman.
No, this is me taking your the paint that I just painted, your paint, I just painted, and putting it against my screen right now. Let me show you this messed up grill. Right there. That should you be mixed laying against my black screen. That is your UV mix and your free screen paint that you give out laying against my black screen. That I'm sitting there dominating in freaking contrast levels and color levels. Look at this. And Dorito commercial. Look at that. See, not only did I make your product and and put it against your own stuff and match your own stuff with your own product, but I took both of them and I put it against my technology. And not only was I able to outperform your screen and contrast levels and color levels, but I gave you, you know, like I said, we did a side by side demonstration right there. I showed you where your product matches your own product and your product doesn't match my product. Neither one of them. Not even the free stuff doesn't even match. Well, Crow Boys, one thing I got to say to you. Well, pretty sure plenty of you got that personal mix sitting on your wall right now. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, to tell you the truth. And he can't get mad about it because it's this video. I mean, he's the one I showed you how to do it. Can't get mad over that. Do it to yourself. There's your product. Right there, buddy. Why would you have a video like that laying around to begin with? Now you got people questioning who purchased your product on if they what, what they got. Because now you're gonna have people want their money back. Because you technically have a product here that you literally paid for that you literally could have made. Now, I can see if you made this product right here. Say you made this product and you had something that you made was completely different. Had nothing to do with this at all, period. Different shade, different color. Why do you think our screens are blue, gold, and have these weird, odd colors to them? You can't say one screen is next to the other because... Nines look anything like, like the blues. Blues don't look anything like the blacks. And blacks don't even look anything like the grays. They're completely different screens with different competing coding of technology in them. They react differently in different levels. I can put them all together and you can see ones will pull contrast, ones will pull better color, ones will pull the white, better white levels. Yeah. But your stuff all blends together. You got no one to be upset about this. This is your downfall. You did this to yourself. I'm pretty sure out of the 30,000 people who saw that video demonstration that you did, I'm pretty sure a few of them had to put one and one together and go, wait a minute, this guy is selling screen paint. I'll just get this screen paint mixture from him for free. Let me see something. There you go. And that's all it takes. But yeah, he pulled that video down. He definitely, it was a smart move to do it. But also, too, it shows that you're guilty. It does. It clearly shows you're guilty. Because you pulled that video down. You got busted and it shows you got caught. When people get busted and caught, the first thing they do is they remove whatever evidence to keep anything from linking it to them. That's what they do. And he pulled that video fast. See right there, Crow? See that paint right there? That's your product right there. I told you I've had your paints here. Your shipping label, everything on it. That's your product when I ordered it. Vertical, bam. Told you that's what's sitting on that. That Metallica Mix 2.0. I paid for that one too. I paid for the personal in the Metallica Mix. That's the one I just made for free. Just now. just That's the one that I made for free. 2.0. That's it. You're selling products to people that pretty much you're showing no comparisons to anything else. And he yanked that video. Now keep 
He had been sitting up there all that time. He never touched that video. And then the minute he get out it, the video gets pulled automatically that fast, that quick. Again, maybe I'm wrong. What video is this? Let me see. This is what? This is Sharp LG. It's one of these. Oh, I know who makes this freaking video. We're going to do this video right now. I'm curious. I'm going to see if that thing duplicates exactly the same way. I wonder. Where's my, uh, whatchamacallit? I know that. I've been out of those videos before. I'm curious. But that duplicates the same video. Um, let me see. Yeah, sure, I'm going to move this up again. Yeah, but I couldn't care less. I don't take Crow as a threat or anything whatsoever. I buy his products, I can tell you, basically can't figure it out. And the fact that he has, he has on the table a container of white paint. <laughs> good luck. Good luck with that one, because that's not even it. But good luck. You know what's even funny? How long is he going to make my product when he's been faking my product by making it so dark? So, pretty much, that's what's interesting about it. But yeah, good luck with that one. I like. I look forward to seeing all the demonstrations that we do in our technology. I look forward to those. Um, let me see. Where did we lose this? I found it. I want to see. I want to see this video real quick. I wonder if that thing matches correctly. Now, as you saw in the video, I own his. I own a few of his screen paints. I had a few of them here. I did a lot of unboxings on them. I had a few of them. These we got those paints because. When he canceled the first two orders, well, people were putting pressure on him, asking him why he was canceling them. And he went and he sent the paint anyway. So that's how we're able to get him. Now he's just outright canceling them like crazy. Like he won't let any of them go through because, like I said, he's the one that's figuring out, you know, going and coming in and putting something against it, which I would have never came and put bare silver screen against it. I was just going to test it to see how it ranked up against other screen paints that we've already bought for cheaper HD um, screen or the um, Pro Cinema US. We're going to put it against those screens and against our technology. And he didn't want that happening. But I would have never thought to go in and put it against his own stuff. So let me see. So that's what's interesting. That the way his product reacts looks exactly the same. And I guarantee that instead of Max or whatever it's called, I guarantee it does the exact same thing. You can't, get angry. you can't get angry about something you did to yourself. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Snowflake. Let's go to 4K. I'm sure I got that right. That's what it right. Anyway, how about put uh uh search face? Uh, I still got you guys magnetized right now. Or something. Right, and I got you guys magnetized your way up too close. All right, there we go. Well, let me see. Let's see, be right here. Yep. Lo and behold. What in the world? I told you. There you go.
So this is your personal mix 2.0. No, no, this is the Metallica mix 2.0 and personal mix are both the same. There's nothing different about these two. Look at that. Hold on. Dude. I'm going to pause that. Let me see if I bring it up a little farther. I can't catch up here. I'll wind this back a little bit. Ah, I have to hit this one. Ah! We can go back to Squinty Eye Boy. What's the Squinty Boy? You know, dude, that, that looks heck of a lot. Very, 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 very close to to both being the same thing. We'll go with this right here. I'm good with this right here. See how bright it is right there? It is the same thing. And mind you, keep in mind, that's a white sheet of paper right there. That's a white sheet of paper right there. You know different than a white sheet of paper, not by much. Wow, are you kidding me? This right here is our paint right here. This is our, our, um, our old mix, we call it peanut butter. This is a flower, some junk I just threw together downstairs. That's mine right there. And that's some of it rubbed in over here. I scratched it up right there so you can see it. It's painted all along here too, up in here. Well, now you're gonna explain this one. Can't get mad, like I said, you wanna get mad at me. I'm the bad guy. Dude, it's your, it's your video. Your video making the paint. The sad thing about it is, he can try to make the product all he wants. I'm gonna tell you what, dude, you're labeling us a scam artist now. I just outed you, buddy. I hate to say it, but this is a this is the epitome of a scammer. Look at this. It's right there. I'm charging you all this money for this, and he basically showed you how the video, his video, 
showing you how to make it for free on his channel. Doing all these videos talking about how amazing his product is and how this, that, and the other. And you smoke screen in the daylight side of y'all. No difference in contrast. They both pull the same contrast level. Look at that. You can't get mad over that. You did that to yourself. And by the way, while you were showing off that little thing, I got four more orders in for that black technology. So yeah, you ain't causing no damage over here. You did this to yourself, man. Wow. They match identical in white levels, the contrast, the color, they match. Look at the contrast, it matches perfectly. Not contrast with a fade out. Real quick and see how it works on this side. Man, you can steal from people left and right. Do every video you do. It's great scamming people. So, Crow, guess what I found out? While this video was playing, I did a deep search on your archives. You deleted that video, which shows, yeah, you were scamming people, buddy. You just deleted that video. It's not in there. Don't worry about it. I got a copy of it already on the recording that I did. Going on showing how people how to make the product. I got a recording of your video of you showing people how to make it. So you just deleted that video just a few minutes ago, which means, guess what, buddy? You knew that video should never been in to begin with. Let's put it this way, people. This is what it comes down to. He used to sell, he used to give his product away for free, all right? But you start selling a product and you still have a video floating around showing people how to make it. It's different 
if the product you was making, you were showing people how to do, had nothing to do with the technology or screen paint you was developing, all right? Say you made this product and it matches nothing you have now, right? Then that's a different story, all right? At that particular time, you were giving away for free. You were helping people out how to get free screen paint that you were doing. And it, had, it didn't match anything you had. But it'd be different if you was basically giving it away for free and then you started charging people for it and then making other paints that had nothing to do with that particular form of paint and they all matched. Which means you pretty much sold a bunch of people some paint that they literally could have made for free that you started charging and they all had the same similar and they looked the same. That's what you what you did. They're all they're both the same. That's like me selling you two different cars and saying, well, this car has this and that and so and so and so and blah 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 blah. Well, you take it down to a mechanic and they strip it out like, no, this is the same car. Ain't nothing different about this. You probably paid a little more for something that was actually the same thing. That is your personal mix in the middle of that free screen paint that you was offering that that video you just pulled because you got found out. Oh yeah, be my guest. Make the 12. I look forward to seeing all 30 demonstrations on the product. Good luck. Until then, I'm going to make another two or three gallons of this, um, of this, um, what is this, free mix. To do some demonstrations to get some other screens coming in. As a matter of fact, I might use it as a primer. You've got to be kidding me. You were charging people all this money for this personal mix and turn out it's exactly the same as the free stuff that you were giving away for free? They're both exactly the same. And I'm even funnier, there's a white sheet of paper right there on the side. Did you know there's white paper? Your screen blends in with a white sheet of paper. Yeah, feel free. You know, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. You don't want to do it to yourself. Get mad at yourself. Like I said, it'd be different if I took your own product and I made it and did this. That'd be wrong. But you, it's you on the video. That is your hand. That's you doing it to yourself. The only one you have to blame is yourself. You did it to yourself. Right, you'd be perfect for freaking security of defense. And he just yanked the video. Just feel me, he yanked that video. But I'll make a difference because in the video that I just did, I show your video in full. Then I make your product at my kitchen table. Then I paint it on a piece of styrofoam or a piece of uh, uh, um, screen. And then I take your personal mix and I blend, put it against your screen and it blended right in. So bigger question, the new Cinema Max, curious. I wonder if you take this mixture right here and you match it to that, will it match? Or if you take the personal mix and you put it next to the Cinema Max, will it match? Because it doesn't make a difference if you delete the video. Everybody knows now it's just two teaspoons or two tablespoons of black in the white. That's all it is. But the fact that he had that video in there all that time and he just pulled it that fast because this got noticed makes you guilty. Ooh, it makes you guilty. And your product is supposed to be different than a white screen. That is my white wall, beige wall. And that is a white sheet of paper right there. You want to see something even more interesting? I'm going to take somebody else's screen paint that I purchased off of eBay. The guy who made HD screen paint. I'm going to put it right next to yours. Let's see. I don't hate this freaking camera. Let's see. to your product. This is his. This is the guy who makes this up for HD screen paint. That's his. It's, it looks like it's white, but it's a really, 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 really light, light silver. Not silver, but a light gray.
Got the nerve to be upset with me. You did it to yourself. <laughs> it's like banging your hands in the car door and blaming the person who's driving. I mean, come on. Yeah, you, you make an amazing Batman. Yeah. Perfect. World's greatest detective, right? You wouldn't have got that job. Hold on, let me bring his, his sample a little higher up. He's, he's got to put it on a big, my mind when I paint these, I put them on a big sample sheet. Everybody. So this is the guy I purchased from off of eBay. I paid $30 for his paint. $30 and the shipping was free. His screen paint right now is producing a higher white level than Crow's paint. And it's called HD Screens on eBay. And even though he didn't ship me a label on my can, but still, all in all, like I said, his product has a much higher white level, better skin tones than Crow's Mix. If we're doing paints on that level and reviews. And then I got another one coming in called Pro Screens, which I'm going to put your product against. Another screen called Knox, I think it is. They all make great screen paints. Now, see how much brighter his is to the personal mix? See the snow levels right there? See, that's his product right there. That's $30 a quart. He pulls up a much higher white level than Crow's. Way much higher. Right, right. I don't know how he, his stuff is pretty good. Now that's his product right there. That's Crow's right there. That's Crow's personal mix, and that's his product right there. He's actually better than Crow. If you want to talk about gray screen, the gray screen, there you go. His name is, uh, he does HD screens. I'll put, I'll show you where he, uh, if you guys are pretty much going to be buying products on this level right here. Like I said, we're going to be buying it on this level because we've done all these screens already against our black technology. Again, like I said, our stuff is in a different world by itself. But if you're going to be on this here with these paints, right, I would go with that one right there. It's not because of Crow's, uh, where he's carried on and acted up. It has nothing to do with that. He's showing a much better white level. Look at the snow here and look at the snow right there. It's cleaner. What am I to do? I want to do it half and half. Well, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do one part of this with the pro screen, one part of this with the do-it-yourself free mix, one part of this with the uh, HD pro screen. I'm not the HD screen, or I think it's one of the two. But three of them I got to put in there. And then we'll put the Knox in there somewhere. And then we'll put that personal mix, because I have no more of that left. I'm going to just put that sample sheet in the middle. See how cleaner the white levels are? Usually most people that are doing these um, high-end gray screens are basically people that desire high white levels. Now it's in contrast. No, they're not going to pull contrast level. That's not going to happen. But like I said, this is what you want. This is your level where you want, you, you're doing. You, you're better off with this guy right here. Right there. And he's cheaper too. Shipping's faster too and it's cheaper. My shipping was free. Oh, my shipping was free on that one? I think it was free. Yeah, my shipping was free. I support free. That free shipping was good. So I'll clean the white levels. The white levels are good. It's not a white. Let's look out. It's the whitest gray I've ever seen, but it's good. He does this video too also.
The only, only problem is if you have a screen, that white contrast is going to suffer. Like I said, with gray, like gray screens like this, it's kind of like a one or one or the other. If you're going to have a higher white level, higher white levels, or you're going to have basically a contrast level. It's a back and forth kind of thing. Oh, and this paint right here, this is our mud paint right there. We made that today. We made that just for fun. That's basically, yeah, it's flower in it. Literally, it's flower in that paint. It's thick. It's flower paint. That is uh, the paint you're seeing right there on this side, that big glop mess. That is actually... Um, a uh, couple of teaspoons of uh, black with uh, white and glitter and um, some flour, bacon flour to thin it up. And we had that smeared against uh, his do-it-yourself paint. It shows you there's no freaking trick in it all. It's just this is This is why we call it the peanut butter paint because it's so thick. That's smeared into the side of that screen over there. See right there, you can see it right there. Yeah, it's smeared in there. But I still got pro screens coming. I think pro screen the pro screens USA, I think that screen is gonna do really, really good. I think it's gonna do extremely good. But as you see, there's no difference between the personal mix and the do-it-yourself mix. There's just no difference. It's the same thing. This one's free and the other one he's charging you for. I guarantee you that Cinemax, Betamax, uh, whatever screen paint he has, I guarantee you, bar none, that if you ask him to do that personal mix next to it, I wonder how close that comes up. He's not going to do it. up real quick. Let me show you something interesting. Now, this is Crow's UV Mix, the dark grape screen paint he makes. Let me show you something. We did this already today. Now this demonstration, you know, he's always taking this light gray screen paint, trying to make our paint look like it's real dark, you know what I mean? You can't barely see it, this, that, and the other. Okay.
That's the reason why you've never seen him do a demonstration of the UV Mix, his dark screen paint, next to any of the other light gray screen paints. You know why? Because you would see the flaws in it. I can blend that into a, you can rewind the video if you want. I can blend that into our screens perfectly. We can camouflage and make that thing disappear. Black screen can blend in that easily. Also too, we've also taken the personal mix and put it against our black screens also too. And our image never ever came out that dark. But for some reason it comes out pitch black against its own screen paint mix. That's his product. There you go. That's his product right there in that container. There you crow your special signature right there. Thank you for that signature. You know, it's funny. How we got a, how we could, I got this paint right here from him. I'll tell you how. It's a funny story. We were trying to get the uh, personal mix to put it against the digital and crystal screen paint to show that he basically was trying to copy our work from way back. And instead of him sending us a lighter gray screen paint, he sent us a darker one. Now that's the reason why I don't like the way he's got his page set up on his account because the way the page is set up on his account. You can't really get the Pacific paint that you want. It just says screen paint, or high definition screen, whatever it says. So you don't, there's no category there. So on your receipt, it's just going to say, well, you ordered this screen paint. You have to email him in order to get the paint that you want. And I say, do you want a Frankenstein or you want this, that, and the other? You're going to have to email him and tell him what you want. He can send you whatever he wants because you have no proof that you actually ordered it unless you're going to show the can and say, hey, look, I ordered this, so and so and so. He can deny that altogether and say, no, it's not mine. We don't sell that. We don't make that. He can easily do that. So by not you having that detail um, description of the product that you just ordered on your receipt, there's no way to basically back up the claim that you actually have his paint. He can deny and say it was never his. Uh, keep in mind um, with, um, with uh, PayPal, and I work with PayPal quite a bit on a few things, they don't really use video testimonies. Basically, now with us, the reason why we get such backup because they can access our website, how everything is done over there. We have everything right there in bold view, policies, the paint, the specification, and videos, all that's there. But when you go to his, his account, and if you go to order paint, there's no category. There's no saying, hey, did you going to get the Frankenstein? Are you going to get the 2.0 or the Metallica mix? It doesn't say that. It just says you're just getting this screen paint, and that's it and whatever's on the receipt, and you have to email him in order to tell him what you want so he can send that to you. And that doesn't sound fishy. I don't know what doesn't sound fishy. So we did order from him, and I never got the paint that I asked for. I got this paint right here. But you know what? Like I said, you got us on that one, but now we're using the same paint that you sent to us to do this. Karma's something else, ain't it? Karma, crow, crow, karma. Yeah, it's something else, ain't it? You send me this to do me dirty, and I turn around and use the same thing that you used to do me dirty two years ago to use it right back at you with the technology that we developed that was far more advanced than the eight. There you go. And that is your product. That is your signature. And even though every video I do, I have an unboxing of me unboxing this product and showing it off. Now, let me show you something right here. You can all see this. You're gonna show me this video. I'm gonna show you something else. I'm gonna show you something else. I'm share something with you. I told Crow if he wants to, he right off my website. Anytime you want, you can order from my website. He's been harassing my customers, trying to get them to send him the paint for trade off. You don't have to do that. You can buy from me. Go right to my website. You can buy from me. Anytime you want to, you can go buy from me. Right there. Website setup crow how it's done. If a customer comes in here and they click on let me show you this. When they click on marketplace and they scroll in, my marketplace right there, you see all those different selections they have right there? There's a category right there from every paint they want to order, they can go and select on any one of those. They click on this one right here. 
You want to see the kind of information I have on my page for my customers? We got pictures right here of all different products. We have the information right here why we can't ship because of COVID. We have the ratings, uh, no private information about how you can spray it on, uh, what different projectors you can use it for, the lumens for inside and outside. All this information is right here. Policies right here on the side. All this. Different projectors we support. All that information is right there for our customers to read through. This is what PayPal sees when they go through our accounts. And so you see all that information is there. You go to the front of the home page right there. You got a logo right there with your copyright logo, which you basically took down the Home Depot. You shouldn't have did that, buddy. That's going to come back to karma. Again, going to bite you in the face for that one. There we go. All the information right there. Video demonstrations, video demonstrations, pictures, video demonstrations, pictures, video demonstrations of all the demonstrations done live and so forth. All the way down the page. There you go right there. That's how you're supposed to have it. I don't have pictures. Of, I have some pictures, but I do a lot of videos because pictures can be photoshopped and all that stuff. We have live demonstrations down here. All this is down here. My customers see all this. All these videos we do. Now, I'm going to show you something, Mr. Crow. So when I pop into eBay, if I go to order your product, right here, look at this. Order this product on the 26th. What does it say on my receipt when I order? Right here, it says Crow Front. This is what it says on my receipt when I get it on my end. There's my number right there, my well, custom item number right there from uh, from eBay. But this is what it says. It doesn't say personal mix. It doesn't say Frankenstein. It doesn't say any of that. This is what it says because I have to email you to let you know what product I want. I shouldn't have to do that. I should be to go in here and pick out what category and get what name I ordered, the product number, or whatever I ordered on my receipt saying what I ordered. If I ordered Frankenstein, it should say Frankenstein on my receipt, not this nonsense right here. But again, we ordered on the 26th. Matter of fact, let's go back a little farther back. We ordered on the 23rd. He went in. He canceled the order. We went in on the 23rd. He went in. He canceled the order. We went in on the 26th when he was talking trash about saying, hey, look, the bottom line is my cinema mix can beat your 12. All right, no problem. I'll buy your cinema mix right now. We'll do a side-by-side -side demonstration. Canceled the order. Now, if I go in here, right, go buy his product right now. And we're not going to buy it because he'll cancel it. He'll cancel the order as fast as I put it through. He will cancel it. Right there. When you go in and buy, this is his logo. This is already the product he's showing you right here that he has right here. All of them right there, okay? And it has no category on what you can buy. There's no category, nothing at all. Nothing at the bottom. I used to sell on eBay, but I used to be a top sell on eBay for actually um for clothes, for vintage, um for, for toys and stuff like that. Shipped by United States Priority Mail. Priority Mail. How many people know what Priority Mail costs on a medium sized shipping box? Priority Mail on a medium sized shipping box is thirteen dollars and forty cents. I ship them all the time. That's the shipping charge right there. Twenty three dollars and fifteen cents. If you ship in priority mail, it's flat rate. It's only $13.40. Why are you charging $23.15? Which means you're probably making about $10.60, maybe about $10.60 from each one, maybe a little more than that. I don't know, but you're making a little bundle off that, of that shipping charge. So why is it $23 here? And down here, it's United States Postal Service priority flat rate, shares, flat rate shipping right there. I ship all the time. I ship for free. I ship to all my customers for free. But I'm not worried about that right there. But like I said, there's no other category. Now, this is the guy fellow we ordered from. That's his product over there. They came with no labels on it, which I don't know why. So he has one right here. This is supposed to be, uh, this one we got right here. This is the HD projector screen paint. This is we ordered from. That's how much I paid for it was 30 bucks. That's all. Oh, the shipping was $9.10, $9. But it got here pretty fast. His shipping time was pretty good. It got here pretty fast. I don't know about all this. I wouldn't put all this down here right here. But that's between him. That's his business. I don't got no involved with that right there. And then we also, I also turned around and I ordered from, uh, he got another one right here. This is two of them. Two quarts right here for $49. That's two quarts right there for $49 right there. And look at the shipping charge. The shipping charge is $10.95. It's the same shipping he's using right here that Crow's using. But for some reason, Crow... It's $23. Something ain't right there. How is it $23 for one quart and he's doing two? There you go. You got you to gotta look at this guy, man. You got to look at this guy. 
that's the information right there. Go right there. Now we ordered from another company called Pro Pro Screens USA. This should be here pretty soon. They just contacted me a couple of days ago, telling me my product is going to be there pretty soon. You can find them. We shouldn't have just put in screen paints. That's what we should do. This right here, I can't wait to buy to get them. They're next. These jokers are next. Because I somebody told me, like, oh, no, they're good. They're the best. They're so, I don't care if you're the good or the best, whatever. I got to see what you look like on my end. Judging by the color of that paint right there, it's being gray. Well, let's go up over there next to the wall. Let's see what we got going on right there. Like I said, I told them, you don't got to go in and you don't have to harass my customers. Just ask for the paint, and I'll send it to you. You ain't got to pay the full you can't afford the full price. Don't worry about it. I will basically give it to you for $50. There you go. Now, you don't got to harass my customers, none of that nonsense, and that's all. But like I said, he wants to do reviews against our products, but and do things, but he doesn't want us to touch his stuff because he keeps canceling all orders. What do you got to hide? Why are you canceling all our orders? What was that sound of my door playing music? I'm getting old. When I was young, it never bothered me. I'm older now. I'm like, no, freaking outside and playing music. I better be freaking Amazon. Anyway, um. Oh, I forgot. You gotta put projection screen paint because you don't put that down there, man. Um, you'll get like screen paints. All right, so we ordered from him. This is the other fellow I ordered from right now. I'm still waiting for his. He has a little bag in there. I wonder what that's in the little bag in there. A little crystal bag in there. We're gonna find out. This is the one I ordered right there. I got two quarts. Two quarts for forty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Twelve dollars and ninety-five cents for shipping. Right now, this is sixty bucks. It's supposed to be half a gallon. Half a gallon. Half a gallon. Oh yeah, two quarts and half a gallon. Duh. What's the difference between that one and that one? And now I'm kind of curious. I have to order again today. I'm going to have to order some more from him because I'm curious. Like, see how his selections are? See how his category is? This is how it's supposed to be. So he has several different ones. Okay. This is top rated. This is supposed to be the best one. And this is how his category is set up. See, they all got categories. It's a category for that one right there. He got one right here. Right there. This one's for HD screen paint solution, 3D Blu-ray, 1080p quality right there. Um, this is, I don't know what this one is right here. Same thing, HD quality, same thing. Okay. Uh, this one right here is for HD screen paint right there. He got two quarts. He got another category for two quarts. Another category for two quarts. Two quarts. These got to be something completely different. Thank you. No problem. All right. That's got to be something completely different right there. All right. We got two quarts here. Right there. So you got categories. It's the category page right here. This is, gives you a chance. So you can pick out which one you want. So if this fellow has this right here and I want that, I can go and just buy that right there. I don't got to email him and say, hey, look, buddy, can you send me this so-and-so and so? I got to go through that nonsense. What the freak am I emailing you for? Why don't you have a category page up here? You got one right here. You got another one here. This right here is HD projection, screen paint. This is a base coat coating for 3D. See? categories right there make it easy make it easy here's another one right here hd uh screen paint uh movie rear kit rear projection screen kit right there i haven't seen that one before i gotta buy from him now i'm gonna check out his rear paint see how it is i'm gonna start reviewing screen paints now that's what i'm gonna start doing this is a company i'm really interested in the most now they got this one right here 220 220 you, you are you reading what i'm reading here let me blow this up for a minute do you see what that says right there paint on screen projection paint theater white that screen paint is white look at the price of it you freaking people get on me about freaking paint sometimes in prices are you freaking kidding me i'm giving you guys a black screen that blows out other screens all the crazy stuff my stuff does and you're gonna get on me about a freak oh <laughs> Okay, people. Okay. Like I said, this is home. I just heard of these people. Digital Theater. Digital Theater White. This is Digital Theater White. They want $221.30 for a white screen. Yeah, it's a black screen right there for $187. And that's black. All right. Um, what else we got here? Projector, uh, let's see, this is border, it's a black border solution. This is for painting your border and for around. Same guys here. Now, so you got three quarts right there. You got a three quart kit right there. 
Um, which one is this one? Let me see what the color this one is. Which one is this one he has? I'm right there is a section right there. There's his pictures. I wish he had some videos on this. I wonder if he has videos on this. On this one. He has uh, pro screens, pro screens, pro screens, pro screens. Pro screens. Let me see if we can get out of this menu right here. Go look at pro screens and see what he has. I always like to look at the videos. When we're buying this stuff. Oh, sorry. Wrong oh, choice of words. I think it's Pro Screens US. I'm pretty sure. All right. Um, we got. Uh, what do we got going on here? Anything here? Anything? Any videos? Any videos? All right. Let's go back and check one more time to make sure I got this right. What's the company? Company right here. He has Pro Screens. Pro screen, pro screen, pro screen. Oh, good girl, I could just dig up anybody. Pro screen, pro screens. 2.0 game. All right, so let's go back to that one right there. And let's just take out uh, this nest. Maybe I should put down screen paint. That'll find it better. I'll put screen paint in. And uh, paint. No, no, it's just going to leave it at that. And this is what we get. So we get. I told you that that would bring up just about anybody. Literally would bring up anybody. Pro screens. This has got to be him right here. All right. No, it's nothing but projectors. Hmm. All right. Well, that's a bit interesting. That's not what I thought it was. It's the same name, right? All right, let's, let's see if we can put up pro screens. I guess he has no videos. Pro screens. Oh, here we go. Tidbit, people. You do know that black screens are, um, Supreme Black has a color code in it, which means it has a strange color to it. It's not actually, it's jet black, but it has a strange color black. Now, keep in mind, if you were to Google the color black, color black comes up in multiple shades. So he's going to have to figure out exactly what shade that black falls under. Uh, you didn't think about that, did you, Crow? See right there, that's house paint right there. And that right there, that is the seven, was it? 77 we developed. Let me show you something, Crow, how we do tests over here. See, that paint has a strange color to it because the extreme black is blacker than a 12. That's house paint. That's our technology. Both, both screens are black. Ours is just a different shade of black. And it's a shade of black that we engineered. So good luck on that one. Um, let's see. What is Force? I don't even know about that. Let's be honest. I look that up. These kind of demonstrations you're going to have to pull off. You're not used to being in that kind of lighting. Those are the easier demonstrations. Good luck. I give you, um, hmm. let's see, I'll give you, uh, well, you're going to need 30 days. It takes 30 days to basically do every test on this technology. So you're going to have to do 30 days of testing to make it. And you're going to have to pass every demonstration. 
There's another one right here. Screen's uh, incredible white level capabilities near versus a white screen. That's why we had such a rigorous hard test because we know that it's going to be very, if people are not doing the same tests that we are, there's no way in the world that their product could ever even match any of our demonstrations and they couldn't duplicate our technology because they can't even pass their own test. Ultra short though demonstration. You couldn't even pass a test of an eight. And you ever seen the you ever seen the demonstration on my YouTube channel when you first come in? That's an eight being painted outside. And the 12 is more advanced than the eight. What? Like I said. Oh uh, yeah, I got mapping software that does that to a house. Like I said, good luck. Oh, that's when I blew up your screen paint. outside motorized projection screen outside you couldn't even come close to anything we do over here but like I said you have I, I like to see all the demonstrate all 30 demonstrations which are taking a long time to do but if you're actually just trying to mix something together the fact that he displayed a white container now there's two people who knows what's in the 12 only two uh, there's another fellow, um, he's one of the attorneys. He's the one who did all the, the patent attorney knows all the stuff that's in there. So don't worry, he'll be in, he'll be in court pretty soon. There you go, you see that? That's a 12 outside. Paying Call of Duty outside. I think we're using a thousand. Were we using a thousand projector on that one? I don't know, I think we're using a thousand projector, I'm pretty sure. Now they filled out the whole screen. Might not have been the thousand projector that was outside. It might have been a Sony projector that was outside that was being used. On that one yeah he knows what's in it when you saw the container of white paint he started laughing that's because that's all you use that's your base that's, that's all he does anything he does it's going to have white painted white and black painted that's all he does so all these tests all these demonstrations all these demonstrations all on black 12 over and over and over again Look at this. You can't even pass our silver demonstration test. You think your paint could go out there and do this, Crow? Go outside at 6 o'clock in the evening and do an image on a 1,000 lumen projector? You think you can pull that image? That black silver pulled that image outside at 13 feet on a 1,000 lumens. That's how perfect that image came up on the black silver. Yeah. Like I said, you don't do any of our demonstrations, dude. You just got caught. You got busted scamming people. That's all to it. That's all. You got busted. That's all. Just deal with it. Look at this. I'm going to show you something, Crow. Look at that distance throw. All the way from back there. 13 feet. Let me show you from here from the door. I'll show you my time. I know he's watching. He's always watching. You see how bright my living room looks, Crow? See how bright it is? That's my screen in my living room right now. That's me walking through my living room. All that light hitting my screen. No dark in the corners, nothing. None of that. Look how bright my kitchen looks. This is what I'm not using neon lights in the house. That's how bright my house gets. Walk outside. Look at that. No awning. Nothing. Thousand lumen projector on display. Right there. Look at that. Right on display, Crow. Now watch this. Boom! Outside. Outside, playing around. 150 inch screen outside. My projector sitting back over 21 feet. Still hit that screen, still produce an image with no problem whatsoever. My next screen is gonna be all the way up to here 
and it's going to come all the way down to here. I might I might put some posts right here so I can extend the screen all the way out from here to here. I want a giant screen outside. Check this out right here, Crow. Look at that. Fully lit environment. See how well lit that environment is? That's a black silver up there and around. Black silver. That, that's our gray technology, and that's a mid-level. We call that the bottom-level screen. Yeah, black silver is compared to, or considered mid-level screens. It's like elite screen. What elite screen considers a white screen, this is what we consider the white screen of our technology. And look how advanced it is. Give me some pointers so you know how to do it. Here we go. Just give me some pointers so you know how to do it. There you go. See how well lit the environment is, how bright it is? This is how it's supposed to be. It's my ultra short throw out there. Just give me some pointers. I'll show you how to do it. Boom. Order day. Look at this, right? You need some corners. You had to do it. Lights on, lights off, lights off right there. And I get tired of it, and I go bam. Look at that. See my corners? Nice and bright, nice and bright, nice and bright. That's how it's supposed to be. That whole area is supposed to be well lit. Nothing's supposed to be dark in that area. Yet when I see your videos, I can't see your freaking wall ornaments. Look at that. Two screens back to back in the room. Fully lit environment. 135, 100 inch. That's a black screen right there producing a snow snow scenery with a tiger in the background. You can't come close to 12 technology. Against white screens, you've tested against everything. Look at that. You want to see another one? I'll show you how this is done. Look at this outside. Colors don't fade, don't wash out. I bet you right now, if I take your screen right now, if I paint your screen on a surface like this right now and take it outside, how well do you think it would do? If I paint your screen right now and take it outside. Look at it, ceiling projection screen. As a matter of fact, you want to talk about anti-light projection, I got a screen in my ceiling right now. I can sit up there and I can watch a movie off my screen. Check out how the paint reacts right here. See any areas not covered in white? I can't figure out where I found this at. I want to find it so bad because, man, that was the coolest freaking display I've seen up on my ceiling. See how it moves around? I can't figure out where I found it at. I really don't know where it's at. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. But I, can't, I don't know where I did with it. No, I can't find out where it's at. Here we go, Crow. These are the kind of demonstrations that I have to do when it comes to my technology. Got to pull them outside. This is how we test our ambient light rejection test screens. We got to pull them outside. Let me show you what eights had to go through. Eights tests were even more brutal. And you thought you could beat an eight. You thought you could come close to an eight. These are eights, buddy. These are eights we're doing. When you was in the house, hiding in the dark, my screens were playing in the sun, playing in the light. Look at this. Look how much ambient light hits my screen in that environment. You're going to pop outside for a minute. I'm out there watching the movie right through my glass door. So I can sit there in my chair, watch my screen on one screen, and then look out there and watch my screen out there on my, on my um. Out there on my front porch.
Look at the angle gain on that. Oh, because you want to challenge me, do you? Look at this, girl. Styrofoam projection screen. A screen made out of styrofoam. Coated with a technology on styrofoam. Look how much lighting is in that environment hitting that screen. See how bright they look at the corners. And any demonstration you will see me displaying corners, that room is going to be lit. And yet you over here in dark environments. Look at all, all dark, dark environments, dark environments. Dark environments. All day. Dark, 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 dark. I don't care how anybody can stand to be in an environment that dark. Dark. All dark, dark environments, man. You know, do if Matt, you haven't. Matter of fact, I gave you four challenges this week. I don't see any of these challenges met. Not one of them. You got four of them. You didn't meet any of them. One of them was actually the thousand projector challenge, where you had to take your projector. I had to hit not show nothing but white snowstorms. You had to show nothing but contrast levels in a well lit environment using a thousand projector. Did you do that demonstration? No. The other demonstration you were supposed to show was contrast levels on your on your um. What is that mix called? Cinemat mix. Did you do that demonstration? You had one day to do it. No, you didn't do it. There you go. You don't see my challenges I've been giving you? Let me show you my challenges, girl. Look at that. See, the, see the difference between the light in my environment and how my screens react? The light. Look at this. Black technology we developed. Not even anywhere near what we do. Yeah. Here you go. There's another one for you. Outside. There's eight technology sitting outside smiling. Here's all the technologies all together side by side. Comparing. Look at that. None of my screen paints match the same. All of them are different. See the different colors of them? That's a platinum black right there. That's a gold, and that's a 12. Look at them. Is that a gold or eight? Yes, a 12. Yep, look at them. None of them match the same. Blacks can bring up high enough levels to match all these screens with no problem. When you get the contrast levels, that's when the screen stands out. Look at that. See the black contrast level right there? See how heavy it is? Look at the um the platinum. See how the platinum? The platinum is dark, but basically when it comes to that nine, that nine can basically produce good color, but it can't produce a high enough contrast level to match the platinum. The platinum level is high enough when it comes to contrast, but it can't match a 12. 12s are unmatched. See the difference? Well, your screen on the other hand, they all blend in together. Yeah, we did that demonstration already. That was already done. Outside demonstration on a blow-up screen in my back, out, out in the front. Oh, here we go. You don't like this one. You're a Star Wars fan, ain't you? There you go. 657. My projector sat back 21 feet. I'm out there playing my gaming system. On a 180 inch screen. Watching Star Wars. Right there. Look at that. No. You haven't matched any of my demonstrations. You haven't completed any of my challenges. You see how bright it is? Look how bright it is across the street. I sold 32 screens that day. You want to know why, Crow? I got a tennis court behind the back of my house with a bunch of rich people. They came by and saw that screen. I had people against the gate asking me what it was. When I turned that projector off and they saw that screen was jet black, automatically from the door, I was getting little business cards passing through my gate on, hey, look, you know, let me know. Maybe you can get one of these at the country club over here. Because no one's ever seen a black screen pull an image like that. But good luck. You gotta pass all these, you gotta do all these demonstrations, yeah. Which means you gotta max that screen on 180. We always gotta max up the screens. 
Here we go, cat in the hat right here. Another demonstration. 150 in screen outside. Daytime hours, watching cat in the hat. That was 150 inch. There you go. There's another eight sitting outside. You know, it's funny about this that how he talks so much trash about my work, but yet here's the funny thing about it. He's sitting in the dark and I'm out here playing outside. Watching Angry Bird on my porch. Yeah, you got a lot of catching up to do. You're going to have to basically try to duplicate some of these videos, man. There you go. Here's another one for you right there. You can play this one right here. There you go. Watch the little Star Wars out back. Doing it widescreen mode. Need I say more? I got tons of these videos on here, man. Tons of them. Wallpaper technology. This is wallpaper technology. It was 100. No, no. This is the um, This is the 8. This is the 8 right here. This is the 8 right here. Look at that color. Oh. Yeah, good luck catching up. But yeah, like I said, I want my 30 videos done. Get them done, please. Get them done. Ultra short though demonstration is done. Bought a $68 screen, painted it, used it to beat a $3,000 Dark Star 9. Using an 8. I beat the gray cinema 5D. I beat the gray cinema 5, uh, uh, 3D. And then I turn around and I beat the dark star 9. Beat them in contrast levels. With a $68 screen. Oh, yeah. Here you go, Crow. Motorized projection screen outside. See, I got demonstrations to back up my technologies for days. Every demonstration you possibly think of, I've tested on my technology. I don't shy away from demonstrations. I don't worry about going through that whole ambient light rejection, the ambient light detection of people in a controlled environment. We don't do that. When I test out my screens, they gotta be done outside. This is how we test ambient light rejection technology outside. Where everybody else is in the, in, the, in the dark inside the house worrying about their curtains and worrying about their windows and doors and all that stuff. We're outside doing demonstrations like that. That was the eight technology that he claimed that was so dark you couldn't see it. Well, good luck, Crow. I wish you the best of luck. Till then, I'm gonna stay in front of the door, and it's true. You're a scammer, buddy. That right there proves it. You you charge people money for a product that you basically had on your on your site on how to make it for free. And as I said before, it'd be different if the technology you had was completely different. It had nothing to do with that at all, period. But that stuff matched your stuff perfectly, which means all you was doing is just mixing some black and white paint together and making it sound all hyper like you was doing this and doing that. You all this, you weren't doing anything at all. That's why you were doing these demonstrations in the dark. All these screens did the exact same thing. They all faded the same way. They all produced the same amount of color and contrast and everything. It's all just black and gray paint. Smoke and mirrors, buddy. Oh, well. Got to go. You know,